and had pretty good results in spring training. This one hits solidly to left. That ball is gone. Ronald Acuna leading off game two of the season with a solo jack to left. It's the first homer of the year for the Atlanta Braves. And on an 0-2 pitch, he deposited it out of the park. It didn't take long, huh? You gave up 38 home runs last year, you think, okay, 0-2. And you can see, just throws a spinner. And to a guy like Ronald, that's going to get hit hard somewhere. And fortunately for the Braves, one nothing. The first pitch of the game, I got to be on. And this one is hit well to right center. That ball is gone back to back. Acuna first, Matt Olson next. Two batters in, two nothing Braves. How about that start? I think they listen to the four keys. <laughs> I mean, zero home runs opening day. Look at that center cut for Seamer. And Matt, so powerful. That ball's in the air a long time. Back to back. Well, have I and cool, a little windy. Temperatures a little, as we said earlier, a little more pleasant, at least for the moment. This one is hit to left, and this one is launched deep and out of here. Marcel Ozuna, goodbye. Atlanta with three solo homers today, and it is five to nothing. And that, my friends, is what we call a no doubter. Yeah, that got out of here in a hurry. <laughs> and you throw a 1 0 pitch, and as a hitter, nothing feels better than this, man. You get one thrown, backs you way off the plate. Look at this. Three, four rows up over the bullpen on a line, too. That had zero air under it. This one to left center. Going back. Gone. Two homer afternoon for Matt Olson. Four home runs total for the Braves, and they pile on here in the top of the seventh. Well, Matt said he wanted to save a few for the season. Well, he has taken spring training and come right in here. Look at that. Exactly what you want to see, a breaking ball that hangs. Watch how he stays with it. Doesn't try to pull it. So much power and just lines this ball in the left center. Watch the center field of Robles. I mean, he just quits. Ball got out of here in a hurry. In the series, and then yesterday, 4-1. to one. Could never really get anything going offensively. Payoff pitch. This one to left center. That ball is long gone. A mash job off the bat of Austin Riley. 1-0 Atlanta. Holy <laughs> God. 473 feet. Are you kidding me? You don't see many balls go where that ball was just hit. Not only over the bullpen, Jeff, that went about 10 rows beyond the bullpen. Well, that's called a big, strong man getting full extension. Look at that. Almost out where the seat, seats end in the left center. Like I said, 473. First home run of the seat. Almost counts as two. Yeah, no joke. 2-1 Two is hit high to right. Will the ballpark hold it? It will not. It is gone. A two-run homer for Ozzie Albies. And Atlanta gets that lead right back. It's 3-1. So a 473-foot homer for Austin Riley and a moonshot 370 feet for Ozzie Albies. Just simply how strong Ozzie is. 
I mean, he hit that ball straight kind of in the air, even though it hit the fat part of the bat, and it just kept going. And probably a good thing, Brandon, it's hot tonight. If, that, if it's 40, 45 degrees, that's probably not a home run. The yeah. rook, rookie sensation, Jordan Walker, 6'5". He yeah. did all he could out there in right field. Now they count 2-2 two, two here at the top of the second. And this one to right center. Drifting back. That ball is gone. Three home runs already for the Braves. A solo jack for Riley. A two-run jack for Albies. And now a three-run blast for Ronald Acuna Jr. Yeah, you can see he's trying to go away, and that ball just spins right back over the middle. Ronald, so strong. You know, it's tough to tell you this, but he didn't even hit that ball that great for what we're used to seeing for Ronald. And only, instead of a sack fly, gets a three-run homer. Beautiful. <laughs> we'll take it. Yep. And that will prompt a visit to the mound as Jake Woodford has given up six runs, seven hits, first, and two stolen bases. If you're already tracking the 40 40 potential, this one to left center. Did Riley do it again? Yes, he did. Stay hot, Austin Riley. Two run homer. And the Braves, just like yesterday, jump on top of the first. say home runs come in bunches and Austin that first series in Washington had some walks and didn't really join the hit party but he's come to St. Louis that's a hanging changeup that he stays on beautifully Matt's is one that ball down and on to the second we go eight nine one for the Braves RC at a left back goes Carlson that ball is gone Orlando Arcia, his first round tripper of the season. Braves are having a home run party in St. Louis, and everyone's invited. Look and pull these hands in beautifully. <clears throat> I'll tell you this the Braves have hit three home runs now that have just not <laughs> over enough. But they all count the same. This one to center. Carlson drifts back. Carlson at the wall. Gone. Three homers already on the year for Matt Olson. Four ten straight away center field. 108 off the bat. That's what's so great about baseball. Matt Olson five with four strikeouts last night comes back today RBI double in the first and now in the second right here leaves the yard dead center puts that lead up to four I'm telling you the first two innings of the, all three of these games the Braves have stomach before I sleep <laughs> this one is drilled to left and that ball is gone That kid at Oakville Pie. <laughs> yeah, Brandon, we talked about the balance of this lineup. I think they can score for anywhere. Here's your nine hole hitter 3 0. You know a lot of nine hole, uh, nine -hole hitters that swing on 3 0? Orlando Arcia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Already his second homer of the season from that ninth slot of the order. Start a whole lot. This ball is tagged deep center field way back there. It is gone. Ozuna goes yard and the Braves are on the board. Well, this Braves team can hit the ball as hard as anybody in baseball, when you get a good hitter's count like Ozuna gets, that's his 198th career home run. 
and 23 last season for the Braves. That's something that you know, last night we saw the Braves with two strikes kind of build some offense, but they have the ability to go and hit the ball as deep as anybody in Major League Baseball. And you love that from your eight hole hitter. Braves led this one 3 1 going to the top of the night. And Derek Law's first pitch is hit to center field. Friedel back. Still going. That ball is gone. Sean Murphy, his first homer is in Atlanta Brave. And it's a walk-off game winner. Up at the plate. Complete control. This one is hit well to right center. That baby is gone. Solo Jack Maddelson, 1-0 Atlanta. Did you just see what that was off the bat? A lot. 119 exit velocity. Hammered. Holy. No doubter. Thank God no one caught that with their bare hands. <laughs> coming in hot to the right. 39 coming into today. Last year at this point in the season, 307 was the average game link. Albies to right field. Albies has left. Congrats, Ozzy. A hundred homers, and look where this pitch is. It's all location. We talked about his first AB, him getting a strike, something in the zone. He likes the ball middle to down. Look at this. Down at the knees where he can get extension. Puts it in the chop house. As the Braves try to go ahead here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Right center field, pretty well hit. And that ball is gone! Eddie Money, and the Braves have the lead! Now his swings have been getting better and better, making solid contact. Double earlier tonight the first time. Just missed one last time. Up in the zone, look at him. Go and get it. And by the way, I love the Eddie Money reference. Rocket. I love some good Eddie Money. <laughs> How about here? To left field. Back is Oliveras. And that ball is out of here. Matt Olson. A two-run homer, and just like that, the Braves are on top, two batters in. Well, partner, you know how you forget about seven straight strikeouts? Just like that. Just like that. You take an 0-2 mistake from Brady Singer, and you don't miss a middle-middle fastball. This is a big ballpark, and he did he made it look small. It gives up the second fewest amount of homers in the majors. Go by Ronald Acuna, two run homer by Matt Olson, and now the third batter of the ball game. Austin Riley hits it to left. Folks, that's what you call back to back. And the Braves are out in front, three to nothing. And for Austin Riley, career homer number 100.
He's been getting on base a ton these last few games, but I know that 100th has been sitting there in front of him for the longest time. What a great job by Austin Riley. Congratulations. Took a slider, 3-2 slider. Again, mislocation middle. You can't do that against these top three. Ozzie Albies hit his 100th in his career last week. Now Riley joins the party with... You're a tall lefty. Pitch for us. We don't care. We don't want to see you hit. And he goes, however, junior year as a pitcher got shellacked. But learned how to hit. And that right there is what's kept him in the league, guys. Oh, my. That was a no-doubter. Sam Hilliard. First homer as a brave. Atlanta already has three home runs. And we're only in the top of the second with nobody out. Well... I, for one, am happy that he decided to keep hitting. <laughs> what a swing. Gets another fastball, two seam, left middle again. That is a really nice spot for a left-handed hitter. Brady Singer is in a world of hurt. This one to center. Back goes his bell. He looks up. He watches it go. Splash into the fountain off the bounce for Sean Murphy. Solo homer paired with his two RBI double earlier. 436 feet. Well, it took a little while for Sean to get comfortable in a Braves uniform, but I think we've found that not only is he a defensive weapon, but he can do this. That was, again, no cheapy. And the home run hat is on. They get four round trippers for the Braves tonight. Single in the first, a single in the second, and he grounded out the four. Hits this one to left. Olivares watches it go. A home run party in Kansas City. As Ronald Acuna becomes a fifth different Brave to hit it out of the park tonight. And Peter, these have all been long bombs. That is 438 off his bat. A backup slider, and it was right into his barrel. He was frustrated, not getting in time the pitch before. Took every inch of frustration out on that baseball. It's up the stairs. Remember what we said? Eight extra base hits. Make that nine. My goodness. Sean Murphy to left. Sean Murphy has left the building. In this series, he has three doubles. He now has two homers. And he gives Atlanta a five to one lead. He's not going to want to leave Kansas City. What a great swing. Continuing his great work with the bat. Gets a slider. Middle, middle. And look at just eyes on. Barrel flat through the zone. Into the wind. And he gets to wear the home. Every game in Midland, North Carolina. Ozzie Albies into the jet stream. And out of here. Solo homer for Ozzy. And Atlanta gets that run right back. It's four to one. Third of the season for Ozzy. Ozzy had himself a great day yesterday. Gets that curveball Zach likes to throw so much down and in on the sweet spot for that left-handed swing and as you said got it up in the jet stream and that was not coming back I feel like Evelyn Hartzell made that home run happen you wish her a happy 100th birthday and Ozzy leaves the Donald Acuna still at second base so now Austin Riley Riley down the left field line well struck and gone the Braves have done it again Scoring in the first inning and jumping out in front. It's two to nothing.
That's now 17 runs in the first inning this season, most in the major leagues. I wanted us to keep the momentum going, Brandon, and there's no better way than to be this aggressive. I mean, five pitches in, we've got a 2 nothing lead, and I get that best that felt really good for Riley, too. He's been talking about his swing. Said he's been struggling a little bit. Two days ago against the Brewers, Braves blanked them last night, 2 nothing. Oh, Sean Murphy kissed that baby goodbye. Second deck, 2 nothing Atlanta. Four hundred and twenty one feet. That ball was absolutely smoked. That would be an accurate evaluation of this baseball. Get up for a heater outside. Not a bad pitch. And he just pulled that thing. You know. Ozzy out to center. Grisham drifting back. And that ball is out of here. There's the insurance. A three-run blast to straightaway center for Ozzy Albies. And it's 5-0 Atlanta. You mentioned his knocks in Kansas City. He swung over a changeup right before this pitch. Took the knee, like he said, got, the, got it again up in the zone, out and over. Not even a strike. And he just, just clears the wall out there in center field. Often and built up leads, and that was the case tonight. A run in the second, a run in the fourth, and then Albies with a three run homer in the top of the eighth. And there's another three run homer. Oh my. That ball is tattooed and out of here off the bat of Matt Olson. Kiss that baby goodbye. And make it eight to one Braves. 440 off the bat. You could really see the frustration building with Matt that he was facing Snell, swinging through a couple of good pitches. Wasting no time, gets a sinker, middle, middle, and oof, we saw that swing during BP today. That time he finished it. And finished it beautifully. And they just threw the ball back in right field. Get to Valdez here. He just continues to roll right along to see if Sean Murphy can do something. Good Murphy ball. to left. There you go. Get out. going to be a time he's mad at himself. He's been throwing nothing but those curveballs and fastballs through a first pitch change up here. Yeah, and Murphy it, jumped yeah. all over it. Cut it over the plate. Murphy didn't miss it. Home run hat on. Fifth home. Two down. 2-2 two -two pitch. Ozzy to left center. Drifting back is Jones. It's gone. Two run bomb. Ozzy always. It's 4-3. right back in it well like you said even when he's not going good sometimes you play him because he can change a game like this on one swing and right here you talk about getting this fan getting the fans back in the game now it's a one-run ball game to sleep and then just an ambush <laughs> attack is coming I like that it's all part of the setup plan there and we go that's what hammered left.
first home run is an Atlanta Brave for Pilar, and it came at a pretty good time. Yeah, what a few mistakes that, that Javier has made today. Fastball leaked back over the plate. Maldonado knew it. That ball kind of ran back to the middle of the plate. Pilar didn't miss it. This one is hit well to left center. And that baby is out of here. Sean Murphy, solo homer, 1-0 Atlanta. Boy, what a pretty swing. He turned that cold air around. <laughs> That's right. There was no air that was stopping that. And Sean is now his sixth of the year. Hilliard gives this a ride to center. That ball is out of here. Straight away center. Two run bomb. Sam Hilliard. Just like that, 3 nothing Atlanta. Yeah, beautiful piece of hitting. A little bit of a hanging breaking ball and just took it right back up the middle. Stayed on it beautifully. Drove it to the heart of center field. Sound Okert, who is, Tom told you, was good last year. And he out to center field. Chisholm drifting back. Chisholm reaches up and watches it go. Just like Hilliard, straightaway center, two-run homer, and it's 5-0. That ball fooled me. I didn't, think he, I didn't think he had enough to get it out, but just kept going. I mean, that was almost identical to Hilliard's homer. Uh-huh. So Okert comes in, and the first guy he faces, Eddie Rosario, leaves the building. And Nolan's first offering is hit to right center. Hilliard! A two-homer night! out of the bullpen yeah, apparently tonight. Yeah, maybe they're <laughs> trying to mix things up tonight. Anything to snap the skid, and right now the Braves are enjoying a 6-0 lead. Nolan with the 0-2. Well, Austin Riley to deep left. Is it another one? It is! <laughs> Five homers tonight for the Atlanta Braves! Coming into him, and he didn't miss it. It's like Oprah's holiday show. You get a home run. You get a home run. Who, who wants it next? Murphy's. And the lefty deals. Ozzy pretty well struck. Left center.
And Ozzy Albies now six homers on the season. First pitch down the left field line for Eddie Rosario. And it's out of here. Eddie Money does it again. Homers in back to back nights for Eddie Rosario. There got a breaking ball. Looks like up. Oh, just went with it. Let that ball travel a little bit with it. Drove it to the opposite field. But smiles all the way around. Ozzy Albies. Ozzy Albies. Ozzy Albies. Two to He doesn't miss too many of those from the right side. Middle in, hammered it. And he takes over the team lead. He flew out in the first, he walked in the third. Alcantara back to work, left center field off the bat of Acuna. And gone! And the Braves are on the board at the bottom of the sixth. Major League homer, Ronald Acuna Jr. strikes again. Sinker up, and there she goes. Ronald didn't miss too many of those. Fourth homer of the year. One one to Olsen. Olsen to right field. Back at the wall. the same on the scorecard. Absolutely. I wasn't sure he got enough, but got a little cutter down and in in the left-handed hitter's happy zone and got just enough of it right on top of the wall and into the chop house. Great start to the inning. On the base pounds. Olsen to right. And Matt Olsen just hit a three-run bomb through the raindrops. Four, nothing Atlanta. Four hundred and thirty-three feet. His team best eighth round tripper of the season. Let me tell you, this cold and damp, that ball was a bomb. And now for Matt Olson, three hits against Peterson. All home runs. This is a hanger. And when Mac gets full extension like that, there's no part holding him in. Absolutely crushed. On in a 2 2 count here to Sean Murphy. Murphy hits this well to left. And the Braves are on top three to nothing. Just like that, four batters in. Well, Sean has been barreling everything this year, Jeff. He barreled that, turned on it, and the Braves lead. You know, it's almost the same pitch, Brandon. He got on the first pitch when he took that big swing and just missed it at 88. And now 
you can see trying to go away and that thing backs up right down the middle and he turns on this beautifully give the Braves three nothing lead quick and like that's why they keep a spare headset in the booth Pilar out to left McNeil back he leaps and it's gone Kevin Pilar against his former team he played here a couple of years ago and he leaves the yard at City Field to make it five to one. Hey, look, Buck's coming out. And he hasn't even crossed home plate yet. I think he was trying to sneak another inning through this, and instead, now, when the Mets struck back with a little momentum, Braves come right back. That's this same pitch Murphy hit. Remember, he was trying to go away, crept right back over the plate. Now, five runs for this offense. And young Denny Reyes has been chased from this ball game in just his second career start. As Pilar makes it five. John Curtis was just recalled from AAA yesterday, and now he finds himself in the center of the diamond, and he serves up a ball right down the middle that Ronald Acuna just jacked way out of here. Did that just go to the third deck? Guy caught it in the first row of the third deck. The third deck for Ronald Acuna Jr., 448 feet, and it's six to one Atlanta. And the Boo Birds are out. I, you, I told you, I played here for two years. I saw one ball go on the third deck in a game. Look at this. That's unreal. <laughs> and 448 is a huge home run. That felt even longer. See why he got the long term deal and why the Braves traded for him. A left center field off the bat of Murphy. It's another three-run homer. He hit one in the first. He's done it again here in the seventh. There's some cushion for the Braves. It's nine to five. Have yourself a day. Two homers, six RBIs. And you talk about a cushion for the Braves that three run. This was a hanger almost the exact same pitch he hit in the first inning for his home run. What I love too is you realize you hear that sound all his line drive all his home runs are kind of those line drive shots into the stands. So far he's been gassing it up. And this one off the bat of Ozzie Albies. And gone. Well, sometimes the faster they come in, the harder they go out. And the Braves have grabbed a one to nothing lead. Eighth of the season for Ozzy. What a beautiful job of pulling your hands in. One guy that likes the fastball, and you can see right here, just kind of crept back over the plate, and Ozzy gets that foot down quick. And look, that ball wasn't crushed by any means but turned on it and gives the Braves a one nothing lead and that eight homer ties Ozzie with Sean Murphy and Matt Olson for the team see that one stung really well though and now Ozuna two hits and a walk last night and Marcelo Ozuna hits a blast to left oh my it's a grand slam the Braves' first grand slam of the season is a moonshot out of Lone Depot Park, and it's four to nothing Atlanta. Marcelo Zuna has come to life in Miami. Wow. That was that was a bomb. That was a bomb times a hundred. Boy, he just hung that right over the middle of the plate. Got to find a way when we go back to Atlanta for Marcel to take South Beach with him. <laughs> no joke. <laughs> Two hits last night. It's something about this part that he likes. Michael Harris. Michael Harris. And it is six to nothing. 
Two batters after the Ozuna Grand Slam. Michael Harris with his first homer of the season and the Braves pouring it on in the top of the second. Well, they started out aggressive oppo. Now they're just hitting bombs, showing off. Gets a hanger right here and a no doubter. Six have come to the plate for Atlanta here in the second. Six have scored. There is nobody out. Back. Because again, too, they don't have an off day as they go to Chicago. Marcelo Zuna. Deep to left again. And it's gone again. Homers in back-to-back -back innings for the Braves designated hitter Marcelo Zuna. Remember when I said he's come to life in Miami? Oh, man. Well, he has come to life in Miami. Told you, how do we pretend this is uh, Truist Park's Miami? With a few palm trees out there in left field? <laughs> <laughs> and both of these were moonshots. That one not as far as the first, but he got enough of it. Tell you what, man, if he was to get hot, lineup could get scary. Smoked it at shortstop. And he smokes this one. He smokes it so well, it's gone. Way gone. It's straightaway center for Ronald Acuna Jr. The home run party continues here in Miami, and it's 11 to 4 Atlanta. How about 461 feet? Yeah. The ground saying, you're not going to face me for a fourth time tonight and get out of here without some damage. And he just threw the knockout punch. That ball was on a line to dead center about halfway up. The fake ivy. Watch where this thing goes on a line. Mm. Crushed. And you said it. That is what will remove Braxton Garrett from the game. And get Ronald Acuna dancing again in the Braves' dugout. It is all smiles for those guys tonight. What did you just say? Did you just predict a home run for Austin Riley? <laughs> I think you did, Jeff, and you were correct. A no-doubter off the bat of the Braves' third baseman. His sixth of the season. And the Braves just keep pouring it on. Well, I talked about it being a process. And you think about it, his two at-bats previously, or two out of the three, long fly balls to dead center, even right of center. That one hung. Hopefully that's, he's going to get on a roll. Put it right in the hair club out there yeah. in left center. It's homers and runs driven in, getting recalled to the major leagues. And Ozzie Albies, deep to left, home run. Another Brave has gone deep. Six round trippers tonight for Atlanta. Nine now on the season for Ozzie. And the Braves have a 14 to six lead. Ozzy's third extra base hit tonight. Two doubles and a home run, four hits. Let's talk about it, BG, but when he gets to this side of the plate, hitting right-handed against lefty, he's one of the best in baseball. Last night he had a solo homer, homer from the other side of the plate to right field. So what a series for Ozzy. Marcelo Zuna deep to left center. He's done it again. Another homer. Two last night and one here this afternoon. Wow. 447 a feet. Rocket. And it was still climbing. Yes. Almost 115 miles per hour off the bat. Dude, he's going to go kicking and screaming to the plane today. <laughs> wow. And that was a hanging changeup after that fastball in. 
thing that went off the facade. It never got 20 feet in the air. Right? No, for sure. I mean, Matt Olson now facing him. Matt Olson hits it high in the air to right field. Back at the wall, and that ball is out of here. Matt Olson giving the Braves some insurance with a solo jack at the top of the ninth. His ninth of the season. Well, Matt said it's not that tough being a lefty. <laughs> Got a hanging breaking ball, and this is why it's not so tough. You see home runs sometimes that are line drives. This is a moonshot, but with his extension, ball just keeps going. And a big run to get one run to play with. Yeah, that feels huge right now, and he ties Ozzie Albies for the two. <laughs> <laughs> You're just building your career, that's all. Sean has driven in the only run tonight for the Braves. He gives this a ride to right center. And it's gone. Three run homer. Sean Murphy has driven in all four tonight for Atlanta. Kicking up one now. I mean, Sean is just hitting the ball hard everywhere. That ball's on a line into the bullpen. It's a good thing none of the Braves relievers were sitting outside. Yeah. I heard they just got a bullpen remodel. Changed some things down there. Nice. You know, to Dan Danley, who I know very well said hey you can be a major league umpire now he's 32 in the big leagues let me clarify an umpiring drill where they had to rotate in that ball is pasted into right field in the air and gone Marcel Ozuna at home makes it one nothing Marcelo Zuna takes his ball to right field nicely. It just kept going. He knew it right away. And he did a lot of things running around the bases, Jason. He stopped and said something to his dugout, and him and Ron Washington round in third had all kinds of handshakes. Has to feel good. Bull in the seventh inning of that game against Kansas City, which came around to score after a walk. 1-0 pitch, drilled to left field. Deep and out of here. Pinch hit home run, Kevin Pilar. The second pinch hit home run for Kevin Pillar in the big leagues. Just like that gives Atlanta the lead. Map for younger teams like the Orioles looking to do the same thing. Well hit to the opposite field. Mullins back on it. He can only watch it. It's 1-0 Atlanta. I mean, that's what we talk about consistency and um, you know he'd been doing the whole year last year you know first year coming in um, filling in for a great first base that Freddie Freeman you know it's a big you know big move to come yeah. in and, and trying to replace Freddie Freeman but I um, love that swing though his ability to power the ball out to the opposite field you see the hands go first and the barrel follows it and boy he can wear out the backside there were three homers See if he can continue that here against Pavetta. That ball is long gone. Into the chop house. Matt Olson makes it 2-0 Atlanta.
don't see too many balls go. Almost on top of the chop house. First pitch spinner. And what did you say about him hitting the I, first pitch? I, I can't take the credit. Our great stuff man, Hal Galima, came over and gave it to me, and it was perfect timing, Hal, as. And Ronald awaits the 3 1 and hits it hard to left. That baby is not coming back. 2 to 1. <laughs> 470. Wow. Absolutely hammered. How about it? They have the payoff. Eddie going, and this ball is crushed and gone. Two run homer, Marcel Ozuna. His fifth homer in the month of May. He has turned it around in a huge way, and he was ready for that 3-2 pitch. Don't let this man get hot. He tried to sneak a fastball past him, and Marcel said, not today. In fact, not this month. Just a balanced swing. I don't want to say he's back all the way back, but that's a good sign from Marcel. And the Braves have their first runs in this series. After being shut out in game one, now they lead it two to nothing here in the second inning. Five mark. First time in his career that he has faced the Atlanta Braves. Acuna greets him rudely. That ball is gone. Second deck, and just like that, it is one to nothing Atlanta. Well, Ronald has hit a lot of long homers this year and in his career. Add that one to the ledger. 421. And you can hear the Blue Jays fans not real happy with that trot, but when you hit it that hard, you can do basically whatever you want. Fastball top of the zone, gets his hands through, barrel to it. Goodness gracious. And we're away. Okay, there you go. Well, an offense that's been struggling the last three games. Third base, if Ronald... Gets a jump. He'll take third easily if he wants it. Another 3-2. Ozzie hits it high and deep to left. Will the ballpark hold it? It will not. Ozzie Albies, two-run homer. Braves retake the lead. And he just continues to mash left-handed pitching this season it's incredible it's incredible to watch him do what he does against these left-handed pitches fastball top of the zone similar pitch may have been a change-up that he left top of the zone got the hands out in front i didn't think it had enough to get out of here but ozzy's so strong keep adding on brandon got to keep adding on as we have seen no one not much thought of him out of Division II Cal State Dominguez, but Kevin Pilar oh, puts a charge into this. And back in his old park, he knocks it out of here for a solo homer. He got all of that. Not hearing as many cheers now, unfortunately, <laughs> for Kevin. No, you could hear a pin drop. They were glad he was back until that moment. Outstanding. Got a slider. Middle, middle. You said Kikuchi's given up a few home run balls. Well, he did not miss that one. He enjoyed every second of that. In the last three games of this losing streak, the Braves had only started Toronto and got a standing ovation where he played for seven seasons and proceeded to hit a solo homer. And he hits this one pretty well to left. 
left center. And it's out of here. Homers in back-to-back -back games for Kevin Pillar. And it's 2-0 Atlanta. I guess he likes this little Toronto, Texas road swing. What a swing by Pilar. Tried that cutter inside. Similar pitch to yesterday. Same swing. Beautiful, even swing. No doubter. 411 feet for Pilar. And Bradford kicks and deals. Acuna to left center. Kiss that ball. Goodbye. Second deck yesterday in Toronto. Second deck today here in Texas. And it's four to nothing. 454 feet. What else can you say about that man but my, oh my. He's as impressive a baseball player as you are seeing on planet Earth today. Another cutter trying to go back with something that's working. Cannot find the feel of anything other than the fastball and a cutter. And I think the Braves have gone to school. Everybody's ready right now. You don't see a ball hit in that part of this ballpark very often. I can assure you of that. And Cody Bradford got through the first without any runs given up. Runner goes. Arcia. Let me say that again. Arcia you later. Eight to nothing. I think he was ready for that one. Safe to say, I tell you, this Braves team has turned that nine hole into one of the most explosive spots in that lineup. Between Michael Harris last year and now Orlando Arcia this year, length of the lineup, Brandon, doesn't get any longer than the nine spot. Three two run homers tonight for the Braves and a pair of two R without a hit. And yes, he has the green light. Yes, he does, as he should. Trouble in right center field. So much trouble that it's in the bullpen. If you like two run homers, you're in the right spot. The Braves have four of them tonight. That's a good one to see right there. I thought I noticed something in Toronto with Austin really working hard see him in the cage every single day gets a 3-0 fastball stays back look at this swing that's what we're used to seeing from Riley that's beautiful well, how good that must feel for number 27 Marcelo Zuna hey how about another two run over Yes, five of them tonight for the Braves. Marcel has eight homers this season, folks, and six have come in the beautiful month of May. That's more like what we were seeing in Toronto. I don't even know how to analyze that gets an 80 mile an hour sometimes fastball sometimes change up and smashed it he got a gift and he deposited it to the second deck you go down there I'm going with you Peter Ronald Acuna out to center field and he has left the building solo homer 10th of the season for Ronald And he's now homered in three straight games. That one, 455 feet. Another cheap one, huh? There are no cheap ones with this guy. Oh.
Almost took his knees out the first pitch. Good adjustment, left it middle, middle. You cannot leave a pitch right there to Ronald Acuna Jr. because he will not see it again. So it's six to two. And it brings up Sean Murphy. Murphy out to right field. Garcia back. And it's gone. Off the fence and out of here. And it's six to four. Three hundred and sixty feet, and he needed all three sixty. Tough night from Murph so far, but that makes it a lot better. Another sinker left middle. Great swing, keeping his hands inside through the knob of the bat, straight to it. Tons of barrel. Might have clipped Garcia's glove on the way out. Yeah. There's a three hundred foot home run that we've been talking about. <laughs> You're right. That was coming back in. It hit his glove and went out. Pitching change. We'll be back. First game of the series, he was the DH last night, went 0 for 4. Oh. Drills this to right, Garcia drifting back, it's gone! 2 to nothing, Atlanta, and he money! Makes it 2-zip in his fourth home run of the season. Eddie goes up there, gets a first pitch splitter. That reminds me of the swing we heard during BP, Brandon. Very similar, about 30 rows deep there in right field. Oh, maybe about 10, but it was close. <laughs> and that snaps Nathan Avaldi's scoreless streak at 29 and two thirds innings. It was the in the zone, 349, out of the zone, 324. It doesn't matter where you try and throw it, he's going to hit it. He hits this pretty well. Get out of here. Yes. Another homer for Ronald Acuna. He's done it in four straight games. He's doing it as well as anybody in baseball. Listen to those boos. You know he's doing something right in the away stadium check out this fastball top of the zone again ronald's able to get the hands to it you see nathaniel drop the head straight away man what a swing what a player rc to right center field back they go back it goes rc you later and the Braves have taken the lead in the ninth. Yes, sir, Orlando Arcia. Just an outstanding swing. Gets a change up. He swung over one first pitch of the at bat, went to school on it, left it up, and just did not miss it. Right center into the bullpen. Man, 6 5 game. Let's go. That's their muscle and how they can win ball games. You saw the lineup depth. You thought this game was going to get out of hand early, though, especially at the top of the lineup. Fly ball to right off the bat of Matt Olson. That Getting his foot down. And knew that he had a mistake in that inner heart. Just dropped the barrel and went to the chop house and got some signs playing because of, when he's locked in, the sound is different off his back. I've seen it many times in the open uniform, and they've been really, really impressed of how the type of teammate he is, and obviously the power and the defensive metrics as well. 12th homer for Olsen lead. Danger is that affect a pitcher. A hundred percent. Oh one pitch cracked by Olsen in the air. Left center field and out of here.
Fast ball up. Just doesn't get it there. Olsen, I don't know if Olsen thought he got it there, Jason, or not. He just kind of drops his head. This ball just kept going and going. Julio Rodriguez runs out of room, and it's 2-0 Braves. Just like that, Atlanta. And that... Dardo to left center. That ball is back. It's at the track. It's at the wall. of the year for Travis Dardo. Tell you what, we got to give a little credit to stop man Hal Galim up here. He's right before the inning came back. He said, how about a first pitch heater homer? And Travis, you can tell, was thinking the same thing. Look where that pitch is, though, Brandon, down in the zone where he could get extension. And in this type of game, what a huge tack on run. Eddie Rosario to right. Into the chop house. Eddie the Dodger killer does it again. It's four to nothing. Must be something about the Dodger blue that Eddie does not like. And this was exactly the first pitch changeup. Tom comes back with another one. First one down in the zone. That one belt high, and yeah. for a good hitter like Eddie, makes him pay. Yeah, and, it, and it's you know what makes it hard, obviously, is if you're only. Yeah, I'm sure you let him know about that from time to time. <laughs> two two Olsen. Speaking of homers, oh my! Oh. Over the chop house, Atlanta. Well, he's got that one on me. I, I couldn't do that. <laughs> you know, he fouled off a lot of good splitters at AB. It kept on, kept on. You wonder if he's going to try to trick him. Instead of the splitter, he comes with the slider, and it just kind of spins. Yeah, stayed right there in the left-handed hitter's happy zone, down and Ooh. in, and man. Look at this ball. Top it. of the roof. Yeah. Woo. 4.56. Ozzie goes. No, he bluffed going. Ozuna! Left center! That one is not. first at bat stayed inside the ball beautifully but just got under and flew out to right field this time trying to go away with that pitch and it kind of just creeps yeah. back over the middle and this was a no doubter yeah it's a, back of the slider, a pitch that a lot of guys don't hit oh he got him again i think he got him on the arm and that time he i think that time he turned and said well you like that yeah <laughs> Riley hits this well to left center. See you later. Well, Olsen last night went 456, and Austin Riley just went 459. Trying to go away, and that thing came right back over. Listen how loud that was. We talked about it, Brandon. Four doubles against the Dodgers. You could really tell that that power swing of him is starting to come around. He's turning on fastballs down the left field line, and that ball right there was touched. He came into that at bat with 299. And JT is a little further back. 
Right center. Ozuna hits another one well. He did it again. <laughs> back to back nights. Marcelo Ozuna goes long. His 10th of the year. We're tied. to go double down the right field line off Gratterall for the Dodgers. Tonight, driving that ball to right center. Brandon, it's been since 2020 when he hit 328 and almost won the Triple Crown that we have seen him do this with a baseball and be locked in. Poppy does it again. <laughs> and we have a brand new ball game. Three in the lineup. Riley. He's done it again. Two homer night for Austin Riley. The last one, 456. This one, 458. Yeah, I think Gretchen picked a good time to show that stat because those numbers are going up. I mean, he gets a hanger in this ball again. Ah, when he when he gets one like this, it, he just makes your job easier up here because you know it's gone. <laughs> That's right? true. That's a no doubter. It's not a wall scraper. But that was a carbon copy of the first homer. Yep. 458 feet. Left center field. Marsh on the run. He's not going to get it because it's gone. And the Braves have the lead. Boy, did he need that. And there you go. Where did you see it go over, Brandon? Left center. He gets pitched out there so much, and last year we saw that power. Beautiful. In the eighth. Ozuna, I think, is going to extend the eighth. Get out of here. Yes. Mr. May has done it again. Reggie has October, Jeter <laughs> has November, and Ozuna has May. It's Poppy. Poppy has May. Look at that, just a fastball up. Look how he goes and covers that, too. Up in the belt high, just throws a hand, knows it right away. And now it's six to four. High fives from Marcelo Zuna yet again. Payoff pitch to Murphy. High in the air to left. Guthrie just came in the game. He drifts back. Reaches up. It's gone. The Braves are on the board of the night. He said they hadn't been shut out at home since what, 21? Yep. Well, that streak continued. <laughs> Good job by Murph. He had five fastballs at that point. You know what? You got to sell out and think heater, and he got it. I just didn't know if this one was going to be too high. Just snuck out of here. And now, which is uh, not liking the ex players coming around. You can ask Matt a question. That hashtag ask. SNB, it's on Twitter. Acuna goes. Olsen fires one to right center field. Marsh is back. He looks. Wow, what a big blast off the bat of Matt Olsen. His 15th of the year. 
And the Braves on a Sunday night jump out to a 2 0 lead. That's what happens when you forget about one big part of the game. Ooh. And it's the guy at the plate. 464 feet distance. 111 miles per hour. Add some change to that. But watch the contact here. Boom, he knew it. Take your time, finish high. Watch it as Ronald Acuna Jr. was in motion, but it did not matter. This were the NBA, that's a three-pointer. Maybe a four-pointer. <laughs> in this lineup, and they continue to add pressure both on the base pass and. Now Riley sends Marsh back again. He is at the wall. Lead sets over the wall. Back-to-back -back bombs. Riley now joins the 10 home run club. 3-0 Atlanta. And the first inning drumbeat of Atlanta's offense continues. I mean, this is their MO. If you're going to miss on a hanger right down the middle, it was designed to be away 85 miles per hour. Austin Riley will hit it straight away center just like that. And Marsh just at the wall couldn't catch it. Next up is Sean Murphy. Top. He said, I've done everything. I've relieved. I've started. This is no, no big deal for him. Olsen. Marsh looking up. Matt Olsen. Second time tonight. Splash down in center field. Another moonshot for Matty O. 445 feet. Have a night, top of the order, Acuna and Olsen. Seven for eight. And responsible for seven runs. In the ball. From the Braves. Fast ball. Right into the barrel. Splish, splash. He knew it. Runs. Olsen sends this to right and he sends it out of here. Sorry, 14. <laughs> Third homer over the last two nights for Matt Olsen. It's four to two. See if that can jumpstart the Braves. I tell you, there hasn't been a cheap one in the bunch either. Matt Olson, when he's going good, the power is just undeniable. Look at this swing. Middle, middle, head on, a beautiful, smooth baseball swing. Especially after a, a long night of talking. <laughs> Are you trying to tell me you want me to leave? And, uh, Pilar lifts this high and deep down the left field line. And it's gone. Off the pole, a homer for Kevin Pilar, and the Braves jump out in front of the top of the third. Kevin Pilar doing a little barking of his own here at the Coliseum. He said yesterday how tough it is to hit the ball out here. Kevin Pilar's had a lot of success against left-handed pitching this year. Gets a fastball down and in, just drops the head, and off the foul pole. Off the left side of that foul pole, but it works all the same, and the Braves lead one to nothing. Ozzy awaits the 2-2. Ozzy down the right field line. Loriano back, and it's gone. And the Braves take a two to nothing lead. Ozzie with his 11th of the season. And boy, did the Braves need it. I'll tell you something, Brandon, that was a really, really good at bat. Laid off some tough pitches from Caprillion. Gets a slider down and in. You know, left handed hitters love it there. And look at just an inch off the ground. Able to keep the bat flat. 
And he hits this well to right center. Get out of here. Get the pool. Yes, splash. Take a bath, Eddie. Two to one. And that gets the Braves on the board in the second. Tried to come up, left it down and in. The sweet spot for any lefty. And Eddie Rosario says, thanks very much. We're going for a swim. <laughs> Six homer of the season. Boy. Left center for Eddie Rosario. Pretty well struck again and gone again. A two-homer night in the desert for Eddie Rosario. And we're back to a one-run game. We'd like to call him Eddie Money. Got a backdoor breaking ball. Stays back and drives it to left center. Takes a fastball into right. Backdoor breaking ball to left center. And then let Rosario get hot. This young fella out here. <laughs> the Strider. Yes. Oh. oh, boy. Ronald Acuna Jr. with a <laughs> tape measure shot. He had not homered in a couple of weeks, so he was due. He breaks out in a big way, his 12th of the year. And, folks, it traveled 464 feet. I've heard rumors of people hitting the balls out of this stadium when the windows are open. I tell you, if they were open tonight, this may have flown out of the stadium. Absolute perfection with that swing and he could just stand and admire it with the rest of us and that extension through the end of next year hit well to right get out of here ball yes and we are tied Ozzy Albies two run shot Well, coming into this game, Zach Gallen had given up three runs total here at Chase Field on the season, and the Braves have already touched him for three. Ozzy with a beautiful swing, last at bat in the opposite field, gets this cut out, left it out open, might have backed up just a hair, stayed middle, and this was not a cheapie by any means. Another left-handed swing from Ozzy Albies. One oh. And he hits it to right. <laughs> Drifting back is Smith. It's gone. A grand slam for Eddie Rosario. And the Braves take the lead in the ninth. Are you kidding me? With two down. In the top of the ninth, and the Braves trailing by a run. Eddie Rosario hits the fifth grand slam of his career. Eddie got a fastball absolutely middle, middle. He's been swinging the bat so well this whole series, this whole week. Just out of the reach of Paven Smith, and he's going to want to get a new glove. Lost it over the fence as the ball went over the fence. And <laughs> look at the Braves bench. Eddie's third homer of the series. And it gives the Braves an 8-5 lead. Of course it does. Of the season, he also did it May 3rd in Miami. Center field, Nimmo drifting. 
Well, what a great job. 3-0, solid, right on the outside corner. New 3-1 here. Get ready for that fastball. And boy, he gets it center cut, and Ozzy gets extension. We always talk about a pound for pound, maybe the most power in the game, and goes dead center. Yeah, he's strong, some kind of strong. But a good eye as it's 1-0. Swinging at the second pitch. That's hit deep. Same pitch that Austin got. Sean elevated it a little bit. Arcia loves it. Bullpen loves it. <laughs> Impossible go ahead run. Possible winning run. 1 1. Hit hard to center. That ball is long gone. And the Braves have the lead. Good call, Joe. Thank you, Thomas. Money Mike blasts it 443 feet to straight oh, away center field. Well, I'll tell you, the hit versus Scherzer had to feel good, but that one right there, <laughs> you don't feel those. And that ball is dead center. Third chip, you're the fourth. I didn't even want, I hope you didn't practice it. There we go. Stretch! Stretch! You practiced it. 100%. <laughs> you practiced it. <laughs> Little Hawk Harrelson for you. Well, just as I said earlier, we get an opposite field home run from Austin Riley. And I'll tell you what, when he really starts concentrating on taking the ball the other way, this is a foreseen fastball, I mean, right down Broadway. Doesn't try to pull it, stays on it. Stays on his backside. He knew we got it. What a feeling. Did I? I was Mizuno <laughs> with you. See? Huh. Hence, no commercial because of the shoes and then the glove. Whose inning is this? Mine! Stretch! Stretch! You can put it on the board! Yeah! <laughs> That's how he came to the park every day, <laughs> like a young lab. And that ball legitimately had to stretch to get out of here. Well, this is what we're talking about with the big bear, staying behind the baseball, not hooking that ball like he used to, not flaring it to right like he used to, hitting it right on the button, just enough to get out of here. I mean, done two other times, most recently. Second, chipper, chipper, Chip it's high, it's far, it's gone. Travis Darno with a two run shot. We got ourselves a ball game, folks. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Larry getting in on the action. <laughs> ah. I had to remind him, he was just gonna sit there and let it stall. I wasn't even looking, I was looking at my scorebook. <laughs> TV.
hanging slider. That one, yep, he knew it. That one's got to feel good. I love that guy. Well done, Chip. Thank you. Yep, now they're getting ready to hopefully turn off the lights and light this place on fire. Continues, man. This guy is on fire. Get ready. Look you got to top guys. that one, by the way. Yeah, you have to top it. You only get some water. <laughs> <laughs> um, Did you see his face there? Fuck <laughs> it off. Poor Larry, a crown. Oh, time to man. Eat. Oh, it's time to eat. That will do it. <laughs> I missed it. It was 13 to 10, not 13 to 11. You sure did <laughs> oh, miss it. Smoke. But Mr. Albies did not miss that one. Oh, did that get out in a hurry? What a game. What a game. This was fun. I told y'all it couldn't end up any other way than a walk off. We got extra baseball. And the great thing, the great chipper, the great thing is me and you will always have the better home run call than Smoltzy. We'll always have it on him. It was so fast. Would you want me to call? I just something, you know. It's a 99. Ozuna hits it high. This party started early. Gets a fastball down and in. Almost identical to the pitch Ronald hit for the double first pitch of the game. You could hear that pop. Yeah, you didn't even have loud. to see the at bat. You knew that thing was gone. Now, all of a sudden, he's up at 42 pitches. This will be number 43. Ronald hammers it. It's another two-run homer. Well, Ozuna hit his 13th of the year, and Ronald says, I want number 13, and he got it. What a bullet. That pitch on right over the middle part of the plate. And you see Ronald, he was smoking out of the box. I don't think he thought it was high enough maybe to get out of here. And might have broke someone's hand if they caught that. A hundred and first and then used a pair of two run homers by Acuna and Ozuna in the second to take the lead and they would never look back. This one is hit high and deep down the right field line. Hello, chop house. Hello, top of the chop house. Two to nothing. My, oh my, was that baby crushed. That was loud off the bat. They continue to just jump out in front. Two strikes and...
trying to get that pitch, I think, a little more in, but you don't throw 88, 89. You better get it in. And Matt, as you said, over the chop house. A, a bowl. Yeah, because it's going to get back to you even quicker. Harris with a high fly ball to right. Zach Short is at the wall trying to time his leap. He can't, and it's gone. Michael Harris tacks on another one here in the top of the eighth inning. His fourth homer of the year. The Braves get that run back that they gave up at the bottom of the seventh, this time by Michael Harris as he makes a deposit in the right field. Absolutely love the turnaround for Michael Harris that we've seen over the last week, week and a half. You are not going to find someone hotter than Michael Harris the second right now. And I tell you what, there was a couple of weeks there where he might have been questioning himself a little bit, but he has come back and he has not missed for the last probably two weeks, honestly. Well, a lot of folks back home know all about Reese Olsen. And Acuna with a deep drive towards left center field. Marisnik to the wall, and Ronald puts him on the board. Acuna means business. And he cuts the lead in half. It's a 4-2 ball game. You tell me Miggy and Acuna aren't watching each other right now? I guarantee you that Homer means a lot to Ronald personally. Means a lot to the Braves, no doubt about that. Now a 4-2 game, but that was a slider that he went down and put the barrel on. Almost on one foot, one leg, one-handed. I'm not sure how this ball got out. Left center, one of the toughest balls to hit a home run, fields to hit a home run at. And he somehow, as I said, one-armed that out to left center. Michael looking for his third hit. The left field. Carpenter still back, still back, leaps out of here. He can't believe it. And Michael Harris has another big base hit, and it's eight to five. Boy, Carpenter right there at the wall might have gotten leather on it, but it certainly bounced off the top of the wall and out of here. And Michael Harris can do no wrong. He's been the hottest hitter in the league. What a turnaround from backdoor slider that he is somehow able to get enough onto it, and Carpenter just missed it. Did it clip off his glove? It did. It did. Oh, boy. He went from... Oh. Deep drive to right. Way back to the seats, and Ozzy swinging a stick of dynamite. 2 nothing Atlanta. Well, just a moment ago, he's showing bunt. And just now, he's hitting one 10 rows deep into the seats. And it's home run number 15 of the season for Ozzie. Ozzie Albee's swinging it as hot as anyone right now. Gets a change up, stays back. Beautiful. I think he had an idea this one was going to go, Ben. Stand and deliver. What a swing. What a couple of weeks for Ozzie Albee's. Doing it on both sides of the ball here early. There's a deep drive to center. Way back. Fire away, big boy. Off the batter's eye. You want to adjust that stat now? Bump it up even more. Another home run by Acuna. Straight away center field, and it's 3-0 Atlanta. That was a gorgeous shot to straightaway center. Ben, I hope you and I hope everybody realizes what we are witnessing this year with Ronald. Another just perfect swing on a off-speed pitch. You're not supposed to be able to hit these this far. I mean, look how high up that is off the batter's eye. We're getting his third look at Michael Lorenzen. That smoked out to right, out of here. Eddie Rosario with a low liner, a missile right out there at the yellow line on the top of the wall. And it's his ninth home run of the season, and the Braves retake the lead.
Brave fans chanting, Eddie, Eddie. They're down the first baseline. We just talked about the success that he's had against Detroit. Follows it up beautifully. Look at that level swing. Catches it right out front and a linear off the fence. Lucky someone didn't get hurt out there. Forgot about Eddie. Yeah, there's a few Hall of Famers in that one. Yeah, that's a good one. This one is hammered to right center, and it is not coming back. My goodness. Eight to three, Atlanta. Well, we talk about how far Ronald hit some of his, and rightly so, but I'll tell you what. There have been a number off of Matt's bat that is just wow. And that was another one. 456 feet. That's just a pretty swing right there. Got a ball in where he loves it. Just dropped ahead and hammered it. Yesterday, now you're working together. Is that difficult at all? It is. I mean, there's some. This ball is hammered to left center. Look out at Chattanooga. My goodness. Darno puts the brains up three to nothing. Well, like you said, insert different pieces, same result. That's the 18th first inning home run that Colorado has allowed, which is still a major league high. And that ball was annihilate as our friend Wiley said in the pregame the party's out front boys Travis got that one <laughs> it is the 100th homer of his career and it was not a cheapie going over 470 feet He might have done it again. Yes, he did. Oh, yes, he did. Ho, ho, ho. Travis Darno, what did you have for your pregame meal? Five to nothing. A little friendly competition between our two catchers. <laughs> This one only went 433 feet. Though. Yeah, it was a breaking ball. He didn't, he didn't provide as much power. That's just a spinner right there. That ball didn't do anything. And again, got it out in front, hammered it. Wow. <laughs> Bench loves it. Travis Darno. To Nelson Lamette, the 30 year old from the Dominican Republic, with a 1 2 pitch. In the air to right, Gritchett goes back, and Gritchett will watch it. Another two run homer. Two by Darno, now one by Eddie Rosario, and the Braves are on top, seven to zip. Well, if I'm hitting in the Braves lineup right now, I want to come up after the guy who just walked. No joke. I mean, it's it's just been uncanny. Another slider that just didn't do much. You know, and that's the thing. Again, you get back to just the two pitches. The amount of pressure it puts on each of those pitches to be right, to be good, to be in the right spots. I mean, it's just hard to do. I think we got a green light here. Yep. Left center. Does it have enough? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Grand slam, Matt Olson. Sixth grand slam of his career, and just like that, the Braves have done it again in the first inning. Yeah, I believe it was during the uh, the four-man broadcast that we had. It was Chipper that said, you know, Snit, in his opinion, is the most aggressive manager he's seen giving guys the green light.
to right field, down the line, and into the chop house. More fireworks for this Atlanta offense, six to nothing. Well, a little slider. Looked like they maybe were trying to backdoor it, and they throw it down and in, and that is danger zone for a lefty. Sixteen homers on the season now for Ozzie Albies, and that leads all middle infielders in Major League Baseball. And he gets into this one to center. And Eddie has left the building. Second homer in as many games for Andy Rosario. Ball, top of the zone. That's a long way. Eddie's deceptively strong. I don't think Seabold can believe that ball got out, but. RCM says, how about back to back? Orlando, our see you later. Is this Coors Field or Truist Park? Man, oh man. Well, it's a familiar pitch and a familiar result. Seaboat just cannot get that sinker to finish below thigh high, and the Braves aren't missing it. Something soft away, but he hung a changeup. That's what makes this team so dangerous. You know, we talk about all the home runs they hit, but they, you know, you can't really define this offense. You see the change up there, thigh high. Eddie's not going to miss many of those. You can't really define this offense as being home run reliant. It's just they have so many guys in the lineup that are capable of doing it. It's just inevitable that somewhere along the line you're going to run into one. Eight and seven through nine, 111. My goodness. So where do you go? <laughs> Balance. And there's three more. Right Maybe. center. Get going. Get going. Gone. From down five to nothing to up seven to five, your Atlanta Braves. I mean, it's just relentless. Relentless and a lot of fun. Bullpen loves it. And Truist is alive and well as the Rockies go to their bowl. Removed him from the shortstop position. Yeah, I was wondering what was going on. That's a good reason. Harris hammers it. A no doubter. It's 10 to 5 Atlanta.
Money Mike cashes in for three. Well, like so many we've seen, another no doubter. Now he's a triple away from the cycle. Just like Arcia was yesterday. Eddie to right center. Doyle back. Doyle's up the wall. Doyle watches it go. Eddie Money has done it again. Second of the day, his fourth homer of the series. I'll tell you what, he is some kind of sneaky strong. His ability to hit a ball in that gap right there and get the carry that he does is just uncanny. And he does it on pitches up in the zone. And Kirby Yates. Yeah, that's a nice play. Nice catch. This ball is hit high and deep down the left field line, and we are tied. Just like that. Austin Riley with a solo shot is 12th of the season. So as we were saying, Austin Riley likes to play here at Citizens Bank Park. As you're also saying, Ranger Suarez seemed to be on a roll, and there's one way to get rid of that. Cutter inside. Austin knew it was coming by the looks of that swing. Stayed back beautifully through the hands. You don't need a bat toss when you can just drop it like that. No doubt off the bat of Riley. Characteristic to actually have those others in your arsenal, but just so rarely use them. Matt Olson down the right field line. If it's fair, it's gone. And it is a fair ball, and it is a 4-1 to one game. Probably try one of the other ones. Might want to mix something else into that guy. 21 homers now on the season for the Braves' first baseman. Austin Riley had a moonshot to left, and Matt Olson balances it out with a moonshot to right. This was a slider that didn't look like it was going to come back to the plate. Somehow did. Left middle, and he did not miss. Look at that swing. Caught it out in front. Riley says the party's out front, and he attended. <laughs> he brought the cake. Ozuna, high and deep to left. The Braves have put five on the board here in the top of the 10. 14th of the season for Marcelo Zuna. Now you want to send the fans to the exit, Brandon. Now they're all leaving as Poppy just got two. Two more to add to the lead, five nothing. 406 feet. Backup slider. And yes, it is a mass exodus now here in the city of brotherly love. Think about it. It goes from one nothing to five nothing on three pitches. Darno to right center field. Friedel going back. He's at the wall, and it is gone. Travis Jarno, three-run shot. Even though he chucked it back, the fan did. It doesn't matter. Counts all the same, and it's four to nothing Atlanta. Travis Jarno coming up with a huge hit. You thought you were going to let him off the hook. And there it is. You can see that fastball just kind of stays straight, middle, middle. And there's one great thing about this park. You don't have to crush it to get it out of here. You put a good swing to right field, you can drive in that gap. And that's what Travis did. And the Braves did not let him off the hook. Took a couple batters, but they made him pay. Uh, you think about the swing. If
Left field. Toward the foul pole. Get out of here. Yes. Matt Olson has untied it. Two run shot, 7 5 Atlanta. Well, you said just get it up in the jet stream, let it ride, and that's what he did. Man, especially for a big, strong guy like Matt. And got to pull the ball. He lets it travel. And look, he didn't even hit that ball fantastic. Just like you said, the big swing. Goes about six, seven rows out and left. Give the Braves a lead back. Ronald Acuna to left. Back is Steer. And the ballpark will not hold it. 16th homer of the year for the all-star Ronald Acuna Jr. It's a three hit night and it's a three run game. Yeah, Ronald chipping away there and again. Let the young kid know on the other side I'm pretty good. our Zaxby's indescribably good play on the solo homer from the Braves leadoff hitter. Three two to left center field get going two solo homers and that one was hammered. Eleven to nine we got a ball game again folks. 458 feet. The Atlanta Braves this year now have 17 round trippers of at least 450. Well, Brandon, we joked earlier in the game. You see Austin just gets a fastball about that Laura Lane's beef if you go up there. Look at this. Over it. I'm telling you, I've played a lot of games here. I have not seen too many balls go there. 458 ball would be hit out no, to I did the Morris Lane beef <laughs> section, but he did it. And now Matt Olson. And we got a one-run game and a one-handed catch by a Braves fan. Second of the night for Matt Olson. 23rd of the season. It's 11 to 10. Three solo homers in the last four hitters for the Atlanta Braves. Another fastball. Where'd he miss? Up in the zone. And look at this catch. Look at that. That's phenomenal. And by a Braves fan, even better. First. Right field. Well struck. Sends out back. Darno's done it again. Second homer in as many ball games for the Braves catcher, and Atlanta jumps out in front. And we talked about it yesterday. The oldest player in the lineup, maybe the smartest player. Let it get deep and just lines it right into right center there. That's a little breezeway where that just goes and. Travis like in Cincinnati. He is indeed. He hit it to right center yesterday. Now right field here to start off the second. Well Jeff talking a little faster as the game goes on. Ozzie Albies down the right field line. Is it fair? Yes. Oh. And it is crushed. And the Braves have a two to nothing lead. 18 on the year now for Ozzy. Four hundred and twenty five that might be closer to four forty. That thing went to the top level. Wow. wow and what a way to get your four hundred career RBI. 
That's the thing. If you go into Ozzy, that's where you can get him. But if you don't get the ball in, look at this thing. It goes up above where that kind of walkway is. Wow. Olsen, left center. Got another one. 24, one behind Otani for the Major League lead. 200th of his career. Boy, you talk about answering in fashion, Brandon. Three, two, two outs. Looked like they were going to get Schuster right back out there. I mean, it's not a horrible pitch by Ashcraft. That's just a beautiful job of Mack going down and getting that ball and just got it out of here. Three home. Ozuna, right field line. That ball just keeps going, and it's going to leave. <laughs> Marcelo Zuna put it up into the atmosphere and let the elements take over his 15th of the season and the Braves have a three run lead. I mean look at that 41 degree launch angle you said the ball went straight in the air. And then a little hand dance with Ron Washington to cap it all off. Look at that thing. Straight up, and it just kept carrying him. Poppy got himself on. Straight up like Paula Abdul and into the right field seats. He had an RBI. Okay. <laughs> Again, the 0-2. Olsen, left field. Get out of here. Yes. He ties Otani for the major league lead with 25 homers. And he gives Atlanta the six to three lead in the sixth. Man, stay hot. Fourth home run of the series. You said tied Otani. You can see he went the fastball up, but again, Matt so strong. Just kind of flicks it and goes right down the line. And when I tell you, walks kill, man. You walk Riley before and you just keep bringing more power up and eventually got burned. Ozuna gets into one. First home run on the road this year. 3-1 cutter Marcel. So powerful. We saw him go deep and sensey to right field and here drives it into the chop house. Yeah, Strider loves it, as you said. Kind of does that arm stretch like Michael Phelps does. Ronald Acuna to right center field. 
One pitch. That's all it took. I couldn't even get it out. I was going to say that fastball has been almost unhittable because of arm angle. Well, he hadn't faced Ronald yet this year. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh. 20 now. Austin Riley with a chance to give Atlanta the lead. Infield coming in. It's not going to matter. Ha ha ha. Home run, triple home run to start this ball game for Atlanta. I mean, what do you even say? <laughs> right? I mean, I, you ain't got to say anything. Unbelievable. Every night you come to the park and you, you just see something new, something you can't believe, and here it is, three batters in. Yeah, he might as well get the cold towels going. He's going to be catching a heave steamer tomorrow. Sean Murphy, get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, my goodness. I'll just let the crowd do its thing. Another heater and Murph don't miss it. Knew it right away. You can see he put his head down. That's what I'm saying. These are not cheapies. These are hit. Now, since we saw a couple cheapies. Yeah, the great American small park. Yeah. You get it up in the jet stream, it goes. These are all earned. Michael Harris gets into the home run act. He has a reservation for one at the chop house. The Braves have had nine men come to the plate. Four of them have hit home runs. This ball got stuck on the light, too, Brandon. Up above the chop house. Hanging sweeper. Mm. And watch this. Right by the tomahawks. You see him up there? Watch the ball. See? Oh, it did. It's stuck. Good eye. <laughs> You're not going to make your arm any longer. No. So you, that's <laughs> and you're about a foot away. Acuna down the left field line. This is nuts. This is absolutely nuts. Unreal. Three two split. He threw it the pitch before Ronald was out in front. That time, he was able to wait a little bit longer and just continue the home run barrage. He was about 50. Ooh. Olsen out to right center field. This one may go. It does go. Matt Olsen, another homer, 26 on the season. Just flip that one up there and Matt. Man, he can hit some moonshots, can he? 
Nice tack on run there to give yourself a little more breathing room and for him. Two behind Otani now. Center field here from Olsen. It's gone! Olsen's done it again! And it's three to nothing! the extension and you see how he brings those hands in and stays through the ball like you said that's one that you think's almost just going to be a long fly ball and continues to carry and tell you what the marlins walked into a buzzsaw <laughs> rays were ready how you think for whatever the marlins has stepped in when they haven't he's been out of the bullpen deep to right field gone eddie rosario Chef Eddie may be filleting some fish out of the chop house tonight. And it's five to nothing in the first. I don't even know what to say anymore. Sometimes the picture's worth a thousand yeah. words. These guys... <laughs> these guys don't stop. There's already a meeting on the mound, Jeff. Hey, and that's... <laughs> it's like we're back at the Great American Small Park. Yep. Might be another one. See you later. Austin Riley left the building. Ball's jumping tonight, Jeffrey. Yeah, 412 feet. This looked just kind of like a slider, a changeup. Just didn't do much, actually, if anything. As a right-handed power hitter, that's where you love that ball. Going down a little bit, and he drops that bat head. <laughs> Orlando loves it. <laughs> yes, he does. I don't know. Olsen, left center field. Bye-bye. Look out, Otani. He's just one behind you now. Matt says, forget your cycle. I'll just go big fly again. Back. Stays through it beautifully. And again, when you know you have that power in any part of the park. Fourth home run for the Braves tonight. <laughs> Already scoring 10 runs. High and deep to left. Kiss that baby goodbye. How far did that one go? I'm going to say 459. Wow. 12 off the bat. Talking about leaning back and the kitten and all of it. Wow. They better be careful. Careful. They're going to run out of their fireworks here for the rest of the season. Are going to have any left for tonight? <laughs> yep. Watch it, boys. They're going to go out and talk to Archie Bradley as the Braves have now put up 14 runs. And we're at the bottom of the sixth. Two by Matt Olson. The Braves, I think, have six homers tonight. Yes, they do. Ronald Acuna joins the party. You thought the home run derby was going to be in 
it's Seattle in July, but you were wrong. It's a Truist Park on June 30th. tonight gets a hanging breaking pitch even on that still got it out a little out front but so much power chef's kiss <laughs> <laughs> six eight 220 pounder Acuna sends this out to left field and he greets the 20 year old with a solo homer here we go again July looks a lot like June. It just, the party just keeps rolling, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, you just show that 21 consecutive scoreless, backs up a slider. No doubter off the bat. It, it's, un, it's unreal, man. It, it's like you said last night, what else do we talk about? Right, and you just come back with a hanging slider. Do the hitter a favor sometimes. Ozzy Albee's trying to follow suit. To back. Folks, I don't know what to say, but this team is really good. I know that. Fastball down in the zone. <laughs> And as he turns on to it in the chop out section. Two batters in, two homers, and a meeting on the mound. The micro fraction that left wrist in early April, had his season disrupted, came back red hot. And he sends this out to center field. Hits that double yesterday, a couple balls hard, and then gets this sinker up in the zone and goes dead center. So it's the day I get honored for the All-Star game. I got to do something. And he puts the Braves on the board. And it's two to one of the sixth inning. Trying to get through the fifth here. Ozzy Albies in the air, down the right field line. Drifting back is Soler. It's gone. Just enough, and the Braves have taken the lead. Well, I just got done saying how quick things can change. First pitch to Ozzy. Just hung enough, and look, he got him out front of the top time how strong Ozzy is and when it's hot like this get the ball up let it fly and just into the vegetation <laughs> and Arcia doing his dance and the Braves go from down to two doing, nothing look, he's still doing the turn and kind of figure out where you're at right field this pretty well struck off the bat of Dardo two run over into the chop house there's your insurance. That might be the exclamation mark. First pitch slider. 
and just kind of hung out there and Travis went with it the other way and with that home run the Braves now set a franchise record for most homers in a three game series at home 11 11. Michael Harris gets into one to right center field. Goodbye. That baby was launched. We know what Atlanta does. They hit home runs, and it puts them on top here in Cleveland in game one of the series. About Michael doing damage on that changeup. We talked about how good the fastball has been for Williams. Well, the changeup is not his best pitch. Michael Harris gets a mistake. That power is real. It's great to see him swing the bat well. There were also some fireworks that went off in center field. I don't know if that was a malfunction, if they thought Cleveland was batting, or what happened there. The thing about playing infield, knowing your runners, knowing the speed, knowing when you have to hurry and when you don't. Ozuna sends this to right. Brennan drifting back. That ball's still going. It's gone. Marcelo Zuna with a solo shot, extending his hit streak to 13 games and doing so with a little exclamation mark. It's three to nothing, Atlanta. How about jumping on a first pitch fastball? They have been late on that fastball, getting jammed a little bit early on in this ball game. And Marcel says, Nope, I'm looking fastball. You give it middle. I'll clear that front hip and drive that ball to the right side. Home run number 17. Nice swing. Well, off the bat, I didn't know if that had the distance, but thankfully it did. And the Braves are on top by three runs here in the fourth. What does that have to wait and see? <laughs> I don't know that I would recommend that, but. <laughs> Harris, could he get two tonight? Yes! A pair solo homers for Michael Harris one to right center this one to the opposite field and it's four to nothing at left what a good job by Michael with two strikes two. that slider down and in got him a little out front got him off balance the pitch before and how about this they try to go up with the fastball he lets it get deep it drives it to left field 387 feet for Michael. His second career multi home run game. He did it in Seattle last year as a rookie in that rookie of the year campaign. And now he's done it here on July 3rd, 2023. He is at that arc for him. This ball down the right field line. Pretty well struck. And it's gone. And we are tied. Two. Ozzie Albies getting into the act for his 21st of the season and providing a little 4th of July spark for the Atlanta Braves. That's how this offense gets things done. Ronald with the base hit, stolen base. Ozzie gets into a hitter's count. 2 0 fastball, not enough velocity by Bieber to get it by him. And Ozzie just continues that home run barrage. Just inside the pole down the right field line, and we've got a brand new ball game here. Yeah, number one's in fight mode here. Hits it to right field. Brennan is back. He's at the wall, and we are tied. A two-homer game for Ozzie Albies. And the Braves just keep swinging. Yes, they do. Only the second home run Class A's get up all year. We talk about battle and fight with two strikes. Well, Ozzy gets it done here. Beautiful swing. Tie ball game. Ozzy Albies, the two run homer in the fifth. Now the solo homer in the ninth. And it's five apiece. And Orlando. Here's in the second. 
This ball is scorched down the left field line and gone. Onto the concourse. 5 0 Atlanta, and the Braves have now hit a homer in 23 straight games. But Sean Murphy, that 50 RBI spot for the year. You hang change ups, they bang them. See where they want this down in the zone. It's not down. And Sean Murphy puts a charge into it. And now marking them together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Never I, once did I think to myself, let me put macaroni and cheese, bacon, and cereal <laughs> on a hot dog. Austin Riley sends this deep to right and a solo homer. And it's six to nothing Atlanta as Riley goes the other way for his 16th of the season. Love that swing from Austin. That fastball velocity has been good for Heron. Tries to go in, misses middle, and Austin stays inside of it, barrels it up, and gets it out to right. All right, Lauren, take another bite so we can go back to back here with Matt Olson. Ten years of service time. Recently, he was one of those guys that was a starter early on and then became an all-star as a reliever. Matt Olson has left the building. That is a no-doubter. It's the third solo homer for Atlanta tonight. It's the eighth homer for Atlanta in the series. And for Matt Olson, he is now one shy of 30. How about put a 70 by the RBI total for Olson? Just demolished, too. Right off the bat, he knew it. Fastball, middle of the plate. Boy, he's been on some kind of tear recently. Doesn't get cheated either. Eddie needed his rangefinder. Randy Land is amazing. It's bringing so much culture to the Rays organization. Keep coming to the trial. The vibe may be electric, but a lot of the Braves fans are the ones doing the cheering right now. Sean Murphy goes yard, and Atlanta takes a 2-1 lead. Uh, Sean Murphy's just had an unbelievable year for the Atlanta Braves. His 16th home run, 52 RBIs now. And when he came over from Oakland, I don't think Atlanta knew what they got. from earlier this year for the longest in baseball. And that one is drilled deep. He's going to do it again. Sean Murphy's having a season. It is 4-0 Atlanta, his 17th of the year. A 25th straight game for the Braves with a home run to tie their franchise record. Absolute bomb off the bat. Another cutter does nothing. Again, second time through. They've seen it. He's thrown a lot of these the first time. They missed him. Second time through, they're not missing him. Sean Murphy, a blast. First pitch strikes to every batter except for Ronald to start the game. Darno high and deep to left. There's your franchise record. The Atlanta Braves have homered in 26 straight games. And it's now 4-2. to two. Fourth home run in the last seven games for Travis. He's done such a good job being ready to play every time his name's called. Well, you hang a curveball in, he demolishes it. The previous pitch, he got him to chase down in the zone, makes that adjustment on that hanger. It blasts this one left. The only.
Matt Olson has one career at bat against Kopech, and he hit it out of the park. That's when he was with Oakland. Right field. Gone. Grand slam. If you're the White Sox, this is just nightmare fuel right now. Kopech cannot find the zone, and the one pitch that he does is obliterated. What a start for this Braves offense already in the second half, and we're not even an out into it. The Braves, as you have heard time and time again, lead Major League Baseball in first inning run. By the country singer Morgan Wallen. It was a song dedicated to the 98 team, so I guess this team would get to have its own song at some point as Rosario clobbers this ball into right center field. And the comeback trail has a brick laid very quickly for Atlanta. Eddie Rosario goes deep, and it's 3-1. Make it 28 games in a row with a home run for the Atlanta Braves. That's a franchise record. Adding to it. And just three short of the major league record. That was by the 2009 Yankees. Outside corner. That's the pitch he wants to get him on. Acuna hits a towering fly ball right center field. Ronald Acuna Jr. electrifies Atlanta again. Just too good, Ronald Acuna Jr. And that's an example of how the count leverage changes everything. It was the cutter, but in a full count, Lance Lynn doesn't want to miss the strike zone with it. And it's a cutter that was in the zone the whole time. This one, he tattoos to right field, and suddenly everybody's the tying run coming to the plate next. 6-5, the White Sox lead has shrunk. I mean, how good is this guy? I mean, second home run tonight. Has stolen a base. Going opposite field in the ninth inning. So strong to hit that out. The ball just explodes off his bat. His 11th career multi home run game. And now a first pitch. Payoff pitch. Hit to left. Back goes Gurry. Back in front. Trying to go to that change up. He threw a first pitch of the at bat. Went back to it, the sixth pitch. Austin catches out front. Massive home run for the Braves. They needed these runs to score in a big way. You can see him catch it out front, change up, didn't get it away. Austin stayed with it. Home run, number 17, big one. And that three-run homer is going to force the Diamondbacks to go to the ball. It just feels like it's going to be a sellout every day. 3-2 is cranked to left center field. All right, see you later.
The fireworks go off. Arcia spanks it 421 feet. Great job doing that bat, laying off a tough slider. And he gets a two-seam fastball, middle of the plate. It jumps all over it. Fly away. Fly away, Money Mike. Adams chopping on that gum on a steamy night in Atlanta. Austin straightens it out, hammers it to center field, and it's gone! What a night for Austin Riley! Two homers, seven RBI, and the Braves are back in front. Six straight sliders goes to the fastball. Finally, and Austin destroys his ball to center field. What an at bat by him, fouling a couple of tough pitches off to stay in it. It drives his ball over the center field fence. That is now a career high in RBI with seven. And as you said, Nick too long uh, yeah. I believe he again one of the best players and I'm not talking about just with the bat in his hand he was one of the smoothest people oh Zuna gets into this to right that's nice. gone Ron you can come in the booth anytime yeah I was, I was gonna say if anything catches fire tonight you can blame it on me again <laughs> and look at Ozuna go man love seeing him hit the ball the other way that means he's locked in he's not stepping out not trying to pull everything that ball was a missile 18th of the season, and we are tied at one. Good to see him get on a roll again, too. He's been struggling a little bit over the last week or so, and you're right, Ronnie. When he lets that ball travel a little bit, breaking ball a little bit deeper, he's got so much power to right center field. He'll take those all day long. Yeah, with a guy like Ozuna, you know you're going to have to come in off the plate just to make him think there. Game last night telling myself have fun this is a game you love enjoy it and not thinking too much hammers this to left third homer of the series for austin riley that thing was crushed Four fifty-one. if you aren't relaxed if you're thinking too much you're not getting to this fastball in but Austin can loosen that tension up on the upper body. He can get to this baseball easily. Good pitch on the inside part, and Austin does not miss that barrel. Absolutely destroyed. It is the Braves' 20th home run of the season that went at least 450 feet. That is by far the most in Major League Baseball. Down the left field line. Our see you later. And the perfect game is no more. And the Braves lead. What a way to end the perfect game. Orlando had a home run in game one of this series. Lined out in his first at bat. Puts the Braves on the board in the second. We talked about how surprising this season has been for him. It just continues to get better. Slider, hanger on the inside part. Orlando clears that front hip and hammers it down the left field line. Yeah, that Nothing thing was hammered. Swinging 3-0, lifting it to left center field. The ball is still carrying, and it's gone! 4-3! to three. Unleash him, expecting fastball, gets it. Thought he might have hit it a little bit too high, but he hit it hard enough. Big boy 
big boy power. Brings the Braves within one. 31 homers, 79 runs about the pitchers, but the offense has come to life. Line deep, left center field. Gone. Braves lead, fourth homer of the series for Austin Riley. Have a series. Huge day in game one with a seven RBI, two home runs, another home run in game two, and a go-ahead three-run home run here in the bottom of the eighth in game three. They went back to that slider for the fourth time, made that mistake, and Austin didn't miss. Have a series indeed, and he did not miss, as you said, indeed. 432 feet. Smoked it out of here. Let's go, he says. Let's go indeed. And that will lift Castro from the game. Boy, you felt like the Braves needed that, and Austin Riley provided it. Scraped the clouds. Got up underneath it, hit it down that right field line. It doesn't matter how far it goes, Brandon, as long as it goes out. RBI number 80 on the year. And home run number 32. Homers in back-to-back -back innings for Matt Olson. Two-run homer in the seventh. Payoff. Hammered. Get out of here. I see you later. And the Braves have taken the lead. The former Brewer back in Milwaukee with a two run shot, his 10th of the season. You could see Orlando was almost shocked the fact that he got two fastballs to open up this at bat and then went to the off speed too many times, tried to come back to that fastball, missed location right over the middle, and we know the damage that he can do with that pitch. We saw it just yesterday. What a swing. So two homers in the diamond bag seems prior was just seven for 42 with two RBI. Turning things around as he sends this to right field. Austin Riley has done it again. He is on an absolute tear. And it is 5 to 2 Atlanta. I'll have what he's having. Well, it turns out it doesn't matter what you throw him. He can stay back on a slider. He can stay back on a changeup. He can pull a four-seam fastball. And if you leave one out, Oda, oh, by the way, he can do this oppo as well. He knew it was gone from the minute he swing. What a beautiful swing. You see him get out in front, get a bit pull happy in those times when he does struggle. But that is just where he belongs. Right center, outstanding. Oklahoma. Home of the no one. And Riley gulps one deep left center field, back and gone. This guy is as scorching hot as anybody in baseball. Five straight games with a home run, six in that span, and the Braves do it again. It's 3-0 Atlanta. And that felt like a no-doubt <laughs> shot on a pitch that was pretty low in the zone to Riley. Country strong. Well, you called it. Making an adjustment. No better example than Austin Riley in the first inning, Austin Riley in the third inning. Struck out on basically the same pitch. 
Maybe the first one had a little more movement down under the barrel. Zoned in on that two-seamer in the same spot, and he did not miss it. Eleven and a half games. Milwaukee holding a one and a half game lead to the Central over the Reds. The other way, going back is Freelich. Still going. It's gone. That snuck out of the ballpark off the bat of Travis Darno. And the Braves take a one to nothing lead. It looked like Julio tried to quick pitch Travis. Got a fastball by in the pitch before. Tried it again with a little extra velo. Look at that swing. Just trying to go to right field. Gets a little backspin on it, and that goes all the way out to right. Freely couldn't catch this one. He did all he could yesterday. What a swing from Travis. You see. First pitch here to left center field. Ozzy Albies has left the building. And the Atlanta Braves take the lead at the top of the eighth. He had been on a little bit of a homer drought, had not hit one since July 4th, and that was a big one. Was it ever? Got a first pitch fastball. And just look at that swing. Let the ball get all the way back. Left center approach. Off the wall. Two balls, one strike. That ball is hammered. Ozzy Albies watching Verdugo go back. It's over. There's the home run for Ozzy Albies, 24th, and the Atlanta Braves jump on Bale and lead it 3 nothing. as the little guy goes big fly. Coming into this game, 55.5% of their runs have been scored via the home run. That's Weaver baseball, the three-run home run right there. Three-run score on their power, and their power is this. Stays right up the middle. Ozzy Albies spinning on the pitches he did not want. Gets one right out over the plate. Puts a three spot for the Braves. It's home run number 188 for the Braves this year. They had more homers at the All-Star break than any team in Major League history. Big swing. Left center. Good. Marcelo Zuna has tied us at four. Well, Marcel, one away off the bat. 3-1, got himself a fastball moving in and did not miss it. Well, Marcel, 3-1 this year on a 3-1 count. Guess he's 8 for 11 with five home runs. Ooh. That's incredible. Oh, please. <laughs> and he's got a 3-1 pitch coming here to Austin Riley. Austin hits this well to left. Gone. Solo homer. And Austin Riley. Now has seven homers in his last nine games. Well, 413 off the bat. I just got done saying how that cutter has been great for Bryce Wilson. Well, it is when you throw it off the plate. This one kind of spun right down the middle. Second homer tonight. It's, I don't know if I've ever said that. Offensively, we're good. This one hit pretty well. Right center. Gone back to back. Riley, then Olsen, eight to four.
boy, Matt was out front on that one. Look at that. But so strong, and the hands stay back, so the full extension, the ball just carries. Dugout loves it. Back-to-back -back homers. First time this year that Bryce Wilson has given up two homers in a game. And he does it to consecutive hitters. In that 13-1 loss. Eddie Rosario to right. Back goes Freelich. Gone! Reservation for two in the chop house for Eddie Rosario. And it's six to nothing Atlanta. This is ridiculous. That's just a hanging changeup. Right now, every pitch Julio throws, regardless of what it is, Brandon, has been up in the zone. And the Braves are all over this guy as well. Ronald gets into this to center. And it's gone. Ronald Acuna makes it eight to one Atlanta. Well, Jeff, he had gone ten games without a home run, so you knew he was due. I think he's still mad about being picked off. Gets a spinner again, a pitch up in the zone. 113.7 off the bat. And that ball got out of here in a hurry. Line shot. And he's already got three knocks here in the top of the fourth. And he had two hits and earned two walks last. And he hits this well. Right center field. It's still going, and it's gone into the bullpen. Back-to-back -back nights with solo homers for Marcelo Zuna. I'll tell you what, Brandon, you know what's a good sign, too? When you start seeing Marcel drive that ball to right center like that, you know he's staying through it. Last night, left center for his home run, and tonight shows you the power into the bullpen. Poppy gets another. In 53 at-bats against Julio Tehran in his career, Marcel now has four home runs off this right-hander. And hitting him, now he's down a ball and two strikes. Ozuna shoots it to right. He has done it again. Time to the chop house. A big fly for the Big Bear. His second tonight, his third of the series. Kind of glad he didn't swing at that pitch before now, aren't you? 100%. Another home run tonight. And again, to right field. Stays inside this ball. And again, look at Marcel. So strong, his upper body. He can hit it out anywhere. Third extra base hit tonight. And his second multi home run. Austin Riley continuing his hot stretch. He's four for eight in this series with a homer. That ball is crushed. Left center field. And the Braves just keep swinging. in the last 11 games now for Austin Riley. 463 feet. You're trying to go inside. You better get that ball in. Boy, it's such a powerful swing.
Matt Olson to right field. Look out of the chop house. First row. And the Braves have the lead back. And Matt Olson now leads Major League Baseball with 86 runs driven in on the season. That's one he's trying to go location and just up in the zone instead of down. And again, you just, with this Braves offense, Brandon, you just, you have zero room for error right now. And you threw a good pitch to Robin. Great series. Might as well make it an unbelievable series. Left center. Does it have enough? Yes, it does. A big fly for the big bear. And we are tied at six. That'll do. The big bear, Poppy, call him what you want, but he's hot. First pitch, Spinner. <laughs> I don't if you saw when he hit it he got it off the end of the back for the most runs driven in in Major League Baseball right center field get going ball the Braves take the lead on a Matt Olsen shot into the bullpen in the bottom of the eighth Well, coming into the six, what do we say? How does Craig Council get keeping this Braves team from scoring runs? I mean, right where Matt likes it, bell tie, and just lines it right off the scoreboard. <laughs> Bench loves it, and that is the 199th home run for the Atlanta Braves this year, sitting on the. Until right now, that is the 200th home run of the season for the Atlanta Braves. 32 more than any other team in Major League Baseball. Well, he might be getting the rest of the Braves hitters, but has not fooled Olsen tonight. <clears throat> Fastball last time up the middle. And this time, partner, hanging split. Just crept right back out over the plate. Into the chop house. Back of the chop house. So Matt hit his 34th and born and raised an Angels fan, not Dodgers. He was an Angels fan and now in his fifth season with the team. Harris gets into this to right center, and that baby is gone. And Atlanta has the lead right back. Well, Crime Dog was talking about the lefty, Brandon. Matt Olson. Yeah, you need to talk about Michael Harris. First home run given up to a lefty since August 21st of 21. August 13th, sorry. Close enough. Yeah, but, I mean, that was a no-doubter. 107 off the bat. <laughs> Look at that fan coming back. He just got a drink, and the ball <laughs> comes right to him. October 1st, which is the end of the regular season. It may seem far away right now, but it'll be here before you know. Orlando Arcia. Orlando Arcia. Four to one.
Well, how ironic that great GM Alex Anthopoulos talked to us about the length in the bottom of this lineup. Michael Harris with the home run to put the Braves up 2-1. And then Orlando goes up and gets 96. Line shot. Oh, that was loud. Eight, nine hitters do it again. And just like that, four to one at Harris. Straight away center field. Money Mike spreading the wealth to all parts of the ballpark tonight. Plays going. These guys are hitting it. Michael with his second tonight, dead center. Talk about that home run differential where there's another three you can tack on tonight. Yes, two for Michael tonight and a big hug from Orlando. So now the eight and nine hole hitters have three homers in the ball game. That one was just a spinner and Money Mike goes dead center. First time a runner has been in scoring position today for either team. Michael breaks for second as Ronald sends this to center field. And it's gone. Three to nothing, Atlanta. Well, he must have heard you, Brandon, say he hadn't had a hit yet this series and decided to really make this one count. He gets a hanging changeup. I mean, 90 miles per hour right down the middle. He's not going to miss that too many times. No. I, yeah, and, and he knows it right now. I guarantee you when he threw it and started saw Ronald go, he's like, oh, man. Oh, boy. to it because it's gone eight to one Austin Riley two run shot well Jeff Ronald hit his 25th last inning Austin didn't want to be left out of the party so he hits his 25th I think the Braves decided that you know the Yankees really haven't seen our offense in two games Maybe for an inning or two last night. It's time to show him as he gets a first pitch hanging slider and does not miss it. You know, his head must be spinning out there right now. Down the right field line. Does it have enough? Yep. <laughs> back to back. It's nine to one. And it's just a couple away from Shohei now. Yeah, I think Phil Nevin's coming out now. Wow. That ball was like a rocket getting out of here. Another off-speed pitch. Change up. And, I mean, that's middle, middle. You saw Matt running hard. The only question was that high enough to get out of here. And the Braves, after three and two thirds, send him packing. And they're flying synchronized over the Braves dugout. Drives one in. Beautiful piece. And now Sean Murphy to left field. Back goes Hap. It's gone. Atlanta has exploded for four in the fourth. I think there's a few Braves fans here. It is loud right now. Yes, it is. Loud with the fans and loud with the bats. Kyle Hendricks, nine up, nine down. 
There's that changeup up in the zone this time around. And Murph, who's been in a little bit of a slump for him, breaks out in a huge way. 18 home runs, now 60 runs driven in this year for Sean Murphy, and that's in part-time work, platooning with Travis Darno. Oh, back to back! Watch this baby fly! On the Waveland Avenue! A big fly for the Big Bear, Marcelo Zuna! Poppy's going to go in and tell Murphy, yours was a wall scraper. <laughs> this one was touched. Oh, look at that. Crept right back over the middle of the plate. Clears everything. So Kyle Hendricks in the first three innings set the Braves down in order. Nine up, nine down. And now all of a sudden the Braves... Five run with Harry Carey singing in the yeah. booth. My goodness. Austin Riley tattoos this to left center and into the bleachers. And Atlanta with an eight to nothing lead in game one of the series. Well, Marcel's earlier went 431. That one goes 430. Yeah, Austin saying, I'm 0 for 3. It's time to join the party. Got off some tough pitches late down the right field line and then gets a spinner and does not miss it. He has not missed much since the All-Star break. Out to left center off the bat of Ozzie Albies. And that thing gets out of here into the front row of the bleachers. And it's five to two. 25th of the season for Ozzy. What a beautiful piece of hit by Ozzy. Split that gap right over the 368. We've seen it. Brandon, he loves that pitch down. Goes down and golfs it. Sneaks it out. 5-2. Again, just continue to chip away. But now a payoff pitch to the Braves cleanup hitter. Right center. Straightaway center now with a win, and it's gone! At first, I thought it was headed for Andrew Jones, but it's straightaway center field for Matt Olson. His 38th of the year, two behind Otani, and the Braves are two behind the Cubs. It's eight to six. Well, the wind blowing right to left, but it didn't matter what the wind was doing. He hit that hard. He cut that right through the wind, like a two iron. And it did, it started right at Andrew and that threw out there and then crept to left field. Andrew was reaching for it. <laughs> well, now <laughs> someone got into the shrubbery, retrieved the baseball, and actually had a pretty good throw. They threw it all the way back out towards the infield. That guy with his hands up. <laughs> In the air to right. I don't care where the wind's blowing. That thing is long gone. Oh my goodness, a mass job off the bat of Matt Olson, his 39th of the season. It is two to nothing Atlanta. Four hundred and fifty three feet. That thing almost went out to right field. We see balls go to left field. Just a hanger. Look at that. Top row. Just five hits all told at Wrigley. 
in that three game series. This ball is deep to right. And you can forget about it. The Braves are on the board. Ozzy Albies with a solo shot to make it six to one is 26th of the season. Well, you can see Ozzy didn't hit this ball all that hard, Brandon, but he was able to catch it out front. And with his swing, he likes that ball down. Was able to hook this into the seats and right. Acuna, left center field. Two pitches in, one to nothing Atlanta. Crushed off the bat of Acuna. There's some early fireworks. Yesterday they started off with a breaking ball first pitch of the game because of that right there. They get behind 1-0. Keller has velocity, but Ronald sitting fastball on time and absolutely demolishes this baseball. What a start. You see where he wants it, wants it out over the plate, misses middle in, and this is exactly what Ronald was doing during batting practice, destroying baseball. 31st time in his career he's hit a leadoff homer. There's some really good. Oh, there's a smash to left center. Arcia, I see you later. Solo homer for Orlando. Well, the balls are flying out of PNC Park tonight, and it's six to four. Let's go to that sinker, and Orlando has been really good against lefties this year. The power's been there. Middle in and hit it to the biggest part of the yard, too. 426, barely over that 410 sign in left center field. Well, the Braves' two homers tonight have not been. The Braves scored three times in the ninth to steal it 8-6. to six. Here. Puts Goodwood on this to left center. That ball's still going and into the bullpen. Orlando Arcia giving the Braves a two to nothing lead. His second homer of the series. Four hundred and seven feet. We started the open talking about him and the eight nine spot seven today with Pilar in there. But he continues to just have a monster year. Went up and got that one. And gives Atlanta a two-run cushion in the second. He's battling here against Falter. This one to center. Back goes Sawinski. Goodbye. He's just tied Otani for the major league lead with 40 homers. But he's just going to start a new streak. RBI number 101 for Matt Olson. The carry he gets on these line drives is incredible. Shows you the power, how he stays through it. It's the same pitch he hit for base hit in the first inning. But this one was up in the zone, and he stays through it beautifully and drives it right into the ivy of the Pirates. Not only does he tie... Riley sends this deep to left. Ortega is back, and it's gone! A single, a double, and now a homer tonight for Austin Riley, the king of Queens. And Atlanta pours it on, it's seven to nothing. Well, you see only 96 off the bat. This ball, it goes to show you how strong Austin is. That ball got in on his hands. And he's able to just pull the bat head through. Watch where it hits on his bat, Brandon. Look at that. Did not hit the sweet spot. And that's why you see Austin running right off the bat. He didn't know if it was gone or not. Ortega just ran out of room. Verlander to the Astros. Max Scherzer to the Rangers. 
Closer David, David Robertson to the Marlins. Matt Olson. Center field. Pretty deep. Really deep. Gone. There's a new major league leader in the home run category. And his name is Matt Olson. 41 of them. Man, 109 off the bat. It's such leverage with these swings. His home runs, the ball just continues to go and go and carry on out of here. And I mean, this is a spinner on the inner half where he drops his hands. No doubter. Overtaking Shohei. Two walks, couple of hits. Now an RBI as Harris scores. Ozzy Albies to right center field. That ball's going back, and it is out of here. 11 to nothing. Atlanta is pouring it on in Queens. A four RBI afternoon for the Wizard of Ozzy. go back you want to talk about being a good teammate and getting rewarded later good things happen to good people you go back to that first inning he was unselfish got the runner over for Austin Riley to get him in comes back around gets a hanging change up two run homer and the boys celebrating in the bullpen and in the dugout 11 to nothing 2-2. Left field through the raindrops pretty deep. Did he get enough? Yes, he did. A two-homer game for Matt Olson. 42 on the season. The king of Queens is the Braves first baseman. Well, Andrew Jones move aside. He might be coming a little quicker than you think. Got this, let it travel a little bit, and that's all you got to do. Fastball out over the plate, a little bit outside, and again, the leverage he gets from that swing, the ball just stays in the air and keeps carrying. Oh, a little, little kid. That's not an umbrella, that's an igloo, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Kelly, you dry down there? <laughs> John Murphy to straightaway center field. Through the raindrops and into the apple orchard. Another homer. This time it's Murphy. And it's a Baker's dozen for Atlanta in game one of the double dip. Here comes a position player. I mean, center cut fastball and Murphy unloads on it right off the apple. I think with, they're calling Mendick in to pitch. I hope that's not the case. He didn't strike out. He lifts it in the air to deep right center. And it's gone. Another one. The Braves have two touchdowns, a couple of extra points, and a field goal now. It's 17 to 3. I, I didn't think that ball was gone. That thing just kept carrying and carrying. Well, sometimes they say the faster they come in, the further they go out. Well. The slower they come in, the further they go out. Might have a three home run game here in a minute. Yeah, that one wasn't on the bingo card. <laughs> Down the right field line. Upper deck shot. Nicky Lopez. Four hits. And now a three run homer to cap it all off. The Braves have scored so many times, I don't even know what the score is. I think it's 21 to 3 now. Yes, it is. Oh, 
those are the ones you dream about. <laughs> That's beer league softball. Yeah. And I just think last year is a perfect example of a team. Oh, one pitch is annihilated to right field. Ozzy Albies way, way up there. A mountainous blast. And inches him closer to 30. What I was going to say is no better example of the Philadelphia Phillies last year. Yep. Showing, hey, we just got in, and they were the game or two away from winning the World Series, right? It could happen. It's not protocol for every team to get hot at the right time, but you check into the dance, and you got your team in a position. Major League appearances. This is a hard team to keep that record intact, and Murphy delivers a drive to left center, and that number is blown up. Sean Murphy takes out Hartwig and makes it 7-4. Looking at me for it, like I was responsible the for that. Threaded announcer's curse. <laughs> <laughs> How hard was that ball hit? 114 miles an hour. The long tangle 20, that thing got out of here in a hurry. As Carl was given the numbers, Mr. Murphy said, here you go. Listen up. <laughs> that was loud. Take it, you know. Unless it's down and in. Everything else he thinks up the middle to right field. That ball is crushed. Matt Olson head down, and he will trot around them all. A massive shot. Another reliever comes in, and on the first man he faces, gives up a ball. I mean, it's no coincidence what Matt Olson does against left-handed pitching. He does not care. There are two lefties in the league this year that do not care for lefties. Kyle Tucker and this guy right here. Fastball, where is it? Down and in. Oh, man, that's the only pitch he thinks about pulling off a left-handed pitcher. Everything else, we're staying middle the other way. What power. What a year. 43rd homer, 100 and baseball since the All Star break. I mean, have just been crushing pitching. This ball is crushed. Right field. Does it have enough? Yes, it does. Hello, Chop House. We are tied at one. When he is most dangerous is when he does not care where that ball's hit. He's got as much power as any right-handed hitter in the game. And here, John, you just see a fastball. A little bit away, he lets it get deep and just lines it to right field. The way the ball's flying here during the summer. Well, that's the key. And any any hitter shuts the windows of opportunity for... Eddie Rosario spanks this to right. Atlanta hits double digits yet again this season. 11 runs and leading by nine, the 17th of the year for Eddie Rosario. Well, even in a 9 2 game, guys, we talk about the two out runs for the Atlanta Braves, and that's what they're able to do. Azuna gets the base hit. And Rosario now pitch up in the zone. And John, you talk about when that ball's in the zone for him, he's got great bat speed, gets to anything. And he's got his third hit tonight, double, single, and a home run. And you know what doesn't get talked about enough? I mean, at least what I've seen from afar. Zuno's been in. Marcelo Zuna hoping to keep that funk extended. Marcel puts a good swing on this to center. Extends 
the hit streak to 13 games for Marcel. And the Braves, like they've done so many times this year, jump out in front. Well, that one was loud off the bat. That was loud, and again, he went with a slider instead of his really good fastball, and that and slider just... spun right in the middle, and there's the bad film that he's got to figure out how to get out of his head, right? He was a moment away, a pitch away, really, from getting out of this jam, and now that three that, off him. It's unbelievable how that stuff repeats itself. At second base, and I slid on my milk duds, which was in my back pocket. Acuna to center field. Does this have enough? At the wall. And gone. Right over the 400 side. A three run homer for Ozuna. Now a two run homer for Acuna. And it's five to nothing Atlanta. Shows you the power, John, able to go dead center here. And he's a guy that finally timed up the heater. Up in the zone. That's the thing for Ronald. He's so quick with the bat. There's no wrap. There's no coil at all. Just out of here. And the Braves, they've done it. So a runner in scoring position, nobody out. And here is Eddie Rosario. And Eddie to left center. Pretty well struck. So well struck that it is gone. Eddie Money has left the building, and it's 2 0 Atlanta. about pitchers and being smart John would you ever throw Eddie no, Rosario I've, a I've first been, pitch fastball right I've, been, down the I've been saying it it's it marvels I, look he he does get to some pitches that he's not supposed to but he will expand the zone in places and my number one scouting report would be which the Braves trailing in front of a, another sellout crowd here at Truist Park four to three and Ronald Acuna trying to tie the game not anymore into the chop house and we're all even. Well, again, Tom, it's all about approach. Yeah, this is a situation. You got the sinker baller. He's watched. Uh, he's watched uh, Azuna and all these guys. Darno shoot the ball the other way. Stays on a beautiful lane. So much power, especially that chop house. You just drive it. And, and I'll tell you what. Listen, that, that's most of these other guys have taken that ball the other way on pitches up. That was a pretty good pitch. I mean, that's a lower outside corner. That's to provide some magic here in the bottom of the eighth. First pitch, center field. Get going. Gone. Atlanta has the lead. Anybody delivers. That ball's crushed. It, oh got, up, it got up in the waterfall. Yeah. And then, again, and you're not the least bit surprised. <laughs> you just wonder who's it going to be. Those two tonight, man. Azuna and Rosario tonight, I mean, have just been outstanding. Ozuna, three hits. Eddie, four hits. Three runs driven in, and the Eddie chance. I can't hear the pitch comp. Arcia, get out of here. Arcia, see you later. More two out damage and more damage after they got an extra out from their opponent. They made him pay. Jeff, I'm old enough to remember when you said that the Braves were going to hit a slider out of here. Yeah. I mean, you throw this many. Look, you're going to throw that. And these right-handed hitters continue to do that. 
And I think this is it. Two run homer, Braves on top. And indeed, that is it. Ozuna deep to left. Forget about this thing. The Braves are on the board. The Big Bear with a big fly. Straight, yeah. better way to do it. I mean, off speed pitch in, and Marcel just pulls the hands in beautifully. Ooh. To a right handed hitter, especially a power hitter like that, that pitch right there. You know it's gone too when you hit that. You kind of golf it. 400 has been a little bit of an issue for him this year. 36 walks and 72 innings coming into the game. Ozuna to left center. I think he just got his second of the night. Yes, he did. Another big fly for the Big Bear. I said that was a way to start a new streak. Yeah, I mean, hit another one. You know, he's mad. Got to take is. it out on somebody. Look at this. Just a hanging changeup. Yep. And he gets it, stays back on it just enough. Deep to left center, and Poppy gets two. And they're flying over in the dugout. Okay, you're right. And a big game winning homer against the Giants. Did I say Homer? I think you did. That ball is high, it's deep, and it is out of here. And Atlanta has a two to nothing lead. Don't you love when the two guys we talk about on the open do this? That's just good TV. You know? You go with a change up here from Tyler McGill and I mean that thing hangs right there and Eddie Let me tell you when that ball looks like a beach ball and you're in the zone that pitch right there. You're not getting it back He knew it This ball is hit high and deep did he get enough of it? Yes! Marcelo Zuna, a big fly. A high big fly from the Big Bear, and it's three to nothing. Boys, we're on the cycle watch for the Big Bear. I mean, this thing was hit high. But you could hear it off the bat. Yes. I mean, he hit it off the fat part of that, just up, but so strong again that that ball just carried. Oh, that was some effort out Fan there. Fan went over yeah. the railing. <laughs> just enough into the front row. So now in the series again. And I'm gonna have to say on that home run call, Freddie Chipper might disagree if it's too early to have a crown. <laughs> well, maybe. Well, there's Marceau. that hanging, hanging slider. Yeah, wrong guy. Or, well, you got the hanging slider. Yeah, it's just a wrong hitter. It. Wrong yeah. hitter. And wrong hitter for Bickford too. You can't hang Marcel anything right now.
That's what we want. Snicker wearing his coat tonight. And Michael Harris in the air to deep right field. That baby is gone. It's a splash. Or did it get there? No, it's just on the concourse. Either way, a solo homer for Michael Harris. And the Braves lead two batters in. Webb loves to keep the ball on the ground. Left to pitch up. Michael Harris, we saw him in BP, really working on trying to drive the ball up the middle. And then he got one up and in. Missed location by a long way. Oof. This ball is crushed. Goodbye. A line drive shot out of Oracle Park off the bat of Austin Riley, and Atlanta is back in front. His 30th of the season. Austin finally got a pitch to hit after two walks. Got a first pitch fastball. Middle, middle, and you could hear that from up here. About halfway up the left field bleachers. Watch out out there. You gotta have a little couple of screws loose to do that, right? This one hit well. Keep going, ball. Out of here! Orlando R. See you later. And it's four to two Atlanta. It is not easy to get one out to that part of the park here at Oracle, but Orlando does it. A rare fastball from Luke Jackson tried to go up in the zone, left it right over the middle. Orlando made him pay. You right, you have to crush it to get it to left center here. It's on the season for that guy that's at second base. Yeah, 111.3 on the exit velo. And now Ozuna golfs one into the air. High and deep left field. That one back, and it's gone. And Ozuna, two-run homer. And the Braves are within one, thanks to the homer from Ozuna. And this is why they're so dangerous. They'll stop around Ron Washington, do what he usually does. 244 home runs. For the Atlanta Braves, a distance at the top left. But it's been Marcelo Zuna who's been swinging a hot bat since May 1st. This has been absolutely consistent for him. Down in the zone, slider, Yahtzee. Back to back barrels. One in the gap, one over the wall. No team gets a higher percentage of their runs via the home run ball than the Atlanta Braves, 53.3%. Gomber deals to Austin Riley. And Riley sends this deep to right. If it's fair, it's gone, and it is fair. And the Braves have a two to one lead. 31st of the year for Austin Riley. Start your home run tracker, Braves country. There's the first of the series. This is what Coors Field can do. Gets a pitch up. Just a little bit late on it. But just stand and deliver. Look at that. He knew it was gone. Bounced up and down from AAA several times this season. Ronald sends this to right center. And that is out of here. A two-run shot for Ronald Acuna. He's now got 29 of the season. And the Braves are back in front. Don't change those MVP favorites too quickly. You hear those Braves fans chanting MVP here. 
I just thought he was swinging out in front a little bit, and then he stays back on this fastball. That's the swing I've been waiting for. This is what he's been trying to do. That right center alley is his best friend. Off the wall on the full. Sends this to right field. Tolly a back. Gone! A big fly from the Big Bear, number 30 on the year. And Atlanta is out in front. Speak it into existence, my friend. Seems like you've done that a couple of times. I'll tell you, the bat that he had in the seventh inning last night where he was able to take that pitch inside and hit it to right field for a single, that set up everything. A double in the last of bat and then this. Mislocation, fastball away, just drops the barrel on it. Couple of rows deep, doesn't matter, all count the same. Three home runs in the series for the Braves, all by right-handers, and all have gone to the opposite field. Michael, on the couch today, and get a little snooze in at about 4 p.m. I kid you not, got a nap in before his Major League debut. Yeah. Kevin Pilar sends this to center field. Well struck, and gone! And Atlanta takes a one to nothing lead on Kevin Pilar's solo shot. KP loves to take advantage of that first pitch. He's had a few at bats over the last couple of days. Maybe he's got his eye in. Gets a sinker and deposits into the Braves' bullpen. That's a shot. Right into the Christmas tree. Is it there? Morning. Yeah, but you know what time? I'm Crushed. Fine. Look out at Breckenridge. Oh, my. Another big fly for the Big Bear. He just keeps crushing baseballs. And it's 4-1. to one. Well, Peter, in the third inning, Kevin Pilar hit a 443-foot homer to straightaway center. And now Marcelo Zuna hits a 443-foot homer to left. You see the mistake. Tried to go back door. Comes back middle of the plate. And he is some sort of locked in right now. You know what time it is? It's homer time. <laughs> well, Charlie Morton. Orlando! What am I got for it? Is that the record breaker? It is! I'll right, see you later. Homer 250 this year for the Braves. A new single season franchise record. They didn't make us wait too long. Another mislocation. Middle, middle. He made an error before. He was going to make up for it. This certainly does that. Well done, Orlando. And just another example of 7 8 9 destroying other teams. Ronald Hammers is to left center. That ball is history. And Ronald Acuna Jr. just made history. He has Major League Baseball's first ever 30-60 season, and he does it in grand fashion. And Atlanta has a 5-1 to one lead. And oh, by the way, it's only August 31st. What a milestone for Acuna. Great call, Brandon. Great call. This was a pitch that was a little bit up in the zone, and man, Ronald just kind of tomahawked this thing. First player in MLB history, and he's got another month left. Shows you how quick he got to 36. Dude. And now Riley, center field, pretty well hit. Get out of here. Yes! And Atlanta has a 6-1 to one lead. Yeah, I 
think this place is a little stunned right now. Hanging curveball. I mean, that's the thing. You just, with, with this offense, you've got to throw quality pitches. And if not, you're not going to get the ball back. And here the Braves are struck for six in the second inning. Go back to Ronald, too. I mean, this is, you know, a lot of talk with Mookie Betts taking over. Tough to play matchups. This ball to right center field. Alvin back. And Altman will watch it go. Third home run tonight for Atlanta. 13th of the season for Michael, and the Braves have a 7-1 lead. Now he, again, these are the balls where he loves down in the zone. Watch the hits down on and that backspin he gets on the ball. So much power. Way gone. You know, it helped out. You know, I think you can look at it a couple different ways. Travis Darno hits this a ton. If it's fair, it's gone. And the Braves are on top one to nothing. A monster shot off the bat of Travis Darno, his 10th of the season. Yeah, this was a great job of staying back on this off-speed pitch. Talk about giving up the long balls. That ball was just belled high. And you know you hit that ball good, too, Brandon, when there's not a lot of hook to it. And it pretty much stayed kind of true right down that left field line. Tenth of the season for, for Darno and Atlanta jumps. Lost in the mail, but I thought Snit had the line of the day saying he bought some candlesticks at the hotel shop this morning as a present. And here goes another one, maybe. Yes, yes. there goes another one. His second homer as a married man. And it's two to nothing, Atlanta. That was a moonshot for his 31st of the season. Well, yesterday was a great day, as Kelly said, and he just picks up where he left off. Making an MVP statement. Yeah, this one kind of just hung. Man, that ball was high. But you just know off his bat, you hear that sound, and you know it's gone. And we talked about the Braves. Yeah. Five. Tied the major league record for the most wins in August in the expansion era. But it's the Braves in this series that have started off hot. And this ball is out of here. It's caught in center field. The problem is it was caught by a fan, and it's a home run. Marcelo Zuna continues his torrid streak at the plate. The Braves have three solo homers and a three to nothing lead. You know, we talked about Marcel's great August a little bit ago. Well, first day of September, and he gets it kicked off to a great start. Just a 91-mile-per-hour fastball. He stays inside it beautifully. Third home run of the night. Darno in the second, Acuna in the third, now Ozuna to lead. The hand, the spin, the cut, sink. Acuna smashes this to center. Don't even bother chasing it. My goodness. A homer in all three games in the series. And Ronald Acuna is saying, MVP? That sounds pretty good to me. 4.54. Ronald's quickly become a villain out here in L.A. What do you think? Yep. And he doesn't mind it one bit. I love it. Oh, center cut. Ooh. 
That's a long way. Freeman. Right now, the Braves trying to take the lead. Orlando, deep left center. Gone. Or see you later. And Atlanta has a four to one lead. Their first hit since all the way back in the third inning. And boy, was it a big one. Well, what do we say back in the eighth, Brandon? It's going to come down to maybe one mistake, one pitch. The mistake there, four, four balls to Sean Murphy, and you bring up Arce here. And look at that center cut right down the middle. And just unloads. A lot of fans head to the exits. But Acuna's 0 for 3. Riley's now 0 for 3. And Matt is 0 for 2. But hold on. Matt with a moonshot homer. Say goodbye to the drought of 18 games without a long ball. He ties Otani with his 44th of the season. And it makes it 2 to 1. And I'll tell you what, no matter what happens, the rest of this game for him, the feeling of that going home is huge. When you get on the plane, you know you kind of <laughs> broke the ice. You know, there's there's two thought processes when a guy's struggling like that. Sometimes a manager will give you a day off, and you see you got a hanger, and sometimes he'll make you push. All the way back in 1999. Ozzy Albies crushes this. It is fair. It's into the chop house, and Atlanta has a one to nothing lead, courtesy of number one. Well, Ozzy wasted no time for home sweet home. Gets a pitch right on the inner half and just turns. That ball was on a line. You know, that's one stat. Now the Braves this year, 421 runs. You like that stadium there in St. Louis, don't you, Joe? It's a pretty place. Yeah, Riley, right center field. Does this ball have enough juice? You bet it does. Into the bullpen. Solo homer for Austin Riley. Number 33 on the season. I guess Austin doesn't care where he plays. <laughs> Facing the Cardinals. That ball was smoked to right center. We were talking on the bus when he said the other day in L.A. saying, that's when I know I'm going well when I stay through the ball. Just like that, what you saw. That was long home run. So Atlanta inches a bit closer. Nine to two. Now here's Matt Olson. Olson. Center field. To back. That was an absolute tank. And he's in front of Otani now with 45 of them. 448 in the Chattahoochee Falls. Wow. Those boys like going back to back sometimes. Seventh time this year those two have done this. This one cleared all the trees up there. Holy. Maybe went beyond Chattahoochee Falls. I was going to say, I think he showed Riley up a little bit there on that. He returned to that role the middle of this year when Helsley was out with a forearm injury, but they just got Helsley back. This is high and deep to left center. Marcelo Zuna has done it again. That's the definition of a big fly for the big bear. He's got 33 on the season. God, he can hit some high home runs too, can he? And that ball was in the air a long time, but so strong. 
And you know what? He deserved this. He worked the count back to 3-2, laid off a bunch of pitches. Got a center cut heater and didn't miss it. I think my favorite part of that homer is how he spit out a sunflower seed a millisecond after the ball came off the bat. Yeah, he knew. Poppy can multitask. <laughs> yes, he can. Oh, boy. High and deep. And wave goodbye to it, folks. He steps a little bit closer to Andrew Jones's single season record. 46 for Matt Olson. Yeah, I just said he comes in bunches and three straight games down that one again. That, that's the thing when he hits a man. 450 something dead center last night. And that one almost 430. That's just full extension. So the Braves get that run right back. The record in the expansion era, which is since 1961. Well, hang on. This ball is hit well to left center. Speaking of homers, there's another one. Back to back nights for Austin Riley as he powers that over the left center field wall. And that one was on a line for Austin. He got a hanging, breaking pitch. Look at that, just spins. And I'll tell you this, when the big man keeps his head down like that and connects, it's gone. Boy, balls are just flying out of the yard. Eight home runs last. Focus on that middle line, finished on the one down the bottom. 21 career games versus Atlanta, 10 and four with an ERA under three and a half. He gets greeted rudely by Ronald Acuna Jr. It is gone. One pitch, and Atlanta has the lead. It's already been a tough year for Adam, and that just got a little bit worse. Ronald wasting no time. I thought yesterday's base hit was going to get him going, and he got a fastball, middle, middle. Stayed back beautifully, not used to seeing something. I think that middle, middle for the first pitch in a long time. He, eyes must have got nice and big. 32nd lead of the year in 2000. He was drafted in the first round that year. Walker, his right fielder, was born two years later. This ball left center field, is that going to go? Hey, guess what, Edmund? You're not getting that one. Homers in four straight games for Matt Olson, and Atlanta is back in front. It's been quite the run for Matty Slice since we came back from L.A., willing to go to that left side. A couple of singles last night. Another home run, four in a row. Andrew, I'm sorry, buddy, but it's looking like you're staring down the barrel of second place. He is four away now from Andrew Jones's brave single down there that have proven fruitful. I think he looked himself in the mirror, too. In the air, deep right. That baby ain't coming back. Michael Harris, reservation for one at the chop house, and it's five to three. It's just incredible that that kid just continues to get better and better. This pitch isn't even a strike. He goes down, stays back. That's 68 miles an hour. That's tough for any big league to stay back on and to get this much on it, you create all the power with that swing. I mean, you've got a team that 61 and 78, but you've got a guy who has meant so much to this organization for so long. Ronald Acuna, right center field, gone! Second of the night for Ronald. The Braves have 10 homers in this series and they're all solo shots.
just looked at the quality of the at bat. The last at bat, he hit a pretty good shot to center field. And does it again, stays back on this curveball. I don't think he even got all of it. But got enough to get into the Braves bullpen. And that's two for the night. Unbelievable. I think you just saw Adam say what? Right center field off the bat of the catcher, Darno. There's another one. Atlanta has launched 11 homers in the series now. And for Travis, it's his 11th of the season. It just happens so quickly. You think you're out of the inning. You've got an easy ground ball to first. Eddie extends the at bat. Travis gets a cutter, middle, middle. And that alley in right center has become a favorite spot for your right handed Braves hitters. And why not? And Atlanta has opened it up. And there's going to be a pitching change. Myers hits his next home run. Atlanta will be the 18th in MLB history with nine players with 15 or more. Well, hold that thought. Because there it goes. Ronald Acuna, two last night, another one tonight. And he's five away from 40 on the season. See the tail of the tape on this one. 455 over the Braves bullpen. Mm. A few nights ago, and Ronald was 0 for 16 at one point. Yeah, that's gone. <laughs> oh. I reminded you that one a little bit. He hit in LA last week. Well, I think Eddie just helped the cause. Reservation for two at the Chop House on a Friday night for Eddie and his date, Matt Olson. And you leave a ball up like that with Eddie. He loves hitting that line drive right to the chop house. His oh, chain broke, though. Oh, no. I have a feeling that's expensive. Let's make sure. He In the air. Deep to right center. He's three away from Andrew Jones on the night where number 25 got retired. 39 for the big fella. Andrew said he wanted him to hit one. He obliged. He did. Fifth homer in the last six games for Matt Olson. I'll tell you what, that is such a dangerous pitch to him when he's going well. Brandon, it's coming right to his bat path. If it's down towards that bottom part, it lets him get full extension. And because of that kiss mechanically. Harris sends this to deep center. Marsh going back. And it's gone. Into the shrubbery and straightaway center field. Michael Harris with a two-run shot. And Atlanta has its three-run lead right back. Wow, he made the biggest part of the ballpark look really, really small. Stayed back and I believe hit this slider. Yep, right over the bit, middle of the plate. A slider is the most given up home run, in my opinion, when not thrown correctly. It has just the dynamics to, to let a ball be launched like that one. Uh, back to back. A no doubter. First it was Harris, now it's Acuna, and Atlanta with an 8-4 to four lead.
A 423-foot shot for Harris. A 420-foot homer for Ronald Acuna. Well, that escalated quickly. Yes, it did. And both pitches are going to be similar. See that ball in the middle of the plate? That was a fastball. And Acuna didn't wait two seconds when he got in the plate to unleash. But both of them hard of the plate, both of them in the seats. Matt Olson in the air, right field. Goodbye. Well, hello, Toyota sign. Goodbye, baseball. And Atlanta's right back in it. Matt Olson, one away from 50 now. Well, when he connects, it's one of the prettiest power swings that you can imagine. That ball's down and in. And I'm sure Lorenzen's like, no way. And right down the line, didn't hook. And this is what they do. They did not cash in on a couple opportunities, but did not miss this one. This one to left field. Schwarber going back. There's number 50. A two homer night. And now he's one away from Andrew Jones for tying the Braves single season home run record. Such a simple approach, even though. Again, Chipper has really helped him mechanically. They've made some adjustments, but see how he stays on the ball strong enough to hit it the other way. And that is already a fantastic year, and there's 16 or 17 more games. More than that, what, 19, 20 more games? How many we got? The last 25 championship teams that have won. Michael Harris. Deep to right, you can kiss this thing goodbye. Second deck shot for Money Mike. And it's back to a two-run game. That's impressive. Guy throws 99 and he throws a slider. Just tailor made for Michael Harris. And we've already seen how far a slider can go tonight. The thing that's gotten better and better. And, and, and you look, if he gets walks in the postseason, uh oh. First pitch here is hit high and deep to left. Andrew Jones has company at the top of the mountain. 51 for Matt Olson. That guy just threw back a pretty important baseball and did Matt Olson a favor. That's twice. He has tied the Braves single season home run record. Well, touche, right? Uh, each pitcher has been really, really good, but on the first pitch fastball, opposite field homers. Michael Harris oh. breaks for a second, and he can stop and walk the rest of the way. That ball was crushed, and Ronald Acuna gets closer and closer to 40. He's now at 37. And Atlanta has the lead. Well, it wasn't two pitches in action, but it was three pitches in action. I mean, that was crushed. I don't think Wheeler even turned around.
Marcelo Zuna to deep left. That ball is gone. Well, John Smoltz just said Marcelo Zuna is due, and he pays it off with a three-run shot, and Atlanta is firmly in control. Well, he stayed on that pitch, and he didn't miss it. The previous at bats leading into this, as you mentioned, hadn't got a hit, just a, uncharacteristically rolling over. But he kept that barrel in the that is such a pretty swing. It's unlike anybody else's swing on the team. Do we know what those what that is? They're letting it fly. Austin Riley gets into the one two pitch to center field and you can wave goodbye to that thing. My goodness. That was scorched off the bat of Austin Riley and Atlanta quickly jumps out in front two to nothing. Four forty seven. You sure they can't hear the keys to the game. There's nothing in the dugout that. I mean let it fly. <laughs> They're letting it fly. Got the ball up in the zone and talked about the wind going off the right field. Well nothing was going to stop this one. Let it fly indeed. First pitch in the third he hits deep to left field and it's gone. Soto shot from Michael Harris the other way. And Atlanta's on the board. Well, partner, you just said to me, I think the bats are going to get going. And look at that. Only took one pitch. What a swing. Maybe a sinker up in a zone. Definitely a sinker. Look at that swing from Michael. They're not supposed to be able to do that to the left field wall. At this field. So now four defeated the Braves. And they did it with a five run seventh inning. Ozzy Albies high and deep to right. There goes number 30 for Ozzy Albies. And Atlanta has a two to nothing lead. Two batters in. Just night after night, someone else steps up. And so quickly. Looked like that four seam that he does try to elevate, but Ozzy was all over it. Whipped the hands through. Second deck. And Atlanta now has five players with 30 or more homers. And hang on, because it's back to back time at South Beach. Ozzie, now Austin, and it's three to nothing. I said it last night. I'm going to say it again. Get to your seats early when this Braves lineup is. This is a slider middle middle. You can't throw that to anybody in this lineup, especially Austin. Off the facade. Six pitches in, three nothing. And already a mound visit. Six seventeen homers and fifty one driven in. <laughs> right field. If it's fair, it's gone. It's off the pole. Michael Harris with a line drive shot. And it's five to four now. Homers in back to back games. Flash that money, Mike. Why not? What an absolute start. I said if he gets one of these, and he did. Right down the middle. 
willing it to stay fair, and it did. Straight off the foul pole. Let's see what he learned. He's walked and singled today. High in the air. Right center failed. There goes the record setter. Number 52 for Matt Olson. Most home runs in a season in Braves history. And he did it with an exclamation point. 433 feet. I don't want to speak. I don't want to ruin this moment. What a swing. What a year. What a smile. And Peter, he's heard about the record for a long time. And now he can exhale. He's at the top of the list. There was a lot of relief that probably was let out three days ago. There's some relief let out. And the Braves are on the board. Marcelo Zuna with a solo shot. Well, at least the goose egg is broken here on a Sunday in Miami. And this could get Marcel going for next week, too. 94 miles an hour, top of the zone. Big uppercut, violent swing. That's smashed. Yeah, that would have hurt. I'm sorry. That's why you bring a glove, kids. <laughs> a lesson to all watching. In a row. Ozzie Albies to right field. And into the chop house, it's one to nothing in left. That's all we needed was a little home cooking. Get back to the your own beds. Ozzy 105 off the bat, just a fourth seam fastball. I mean, middle, middle, and Ozzy loves just hitting those line drives into the chop house. Starts two and one, a little higher ERA, but pitched well against the Braves that night. I know he gave up four runs, but struck out ten. He's not striking anybody out here. First pitch, one to nothing. Well, that didn't yeah. take long. No, uh, his best pitch is that change up. Ronald said, you know what? I'm not waiting for that. Jumps on a first pitch sinker right down the middle. Let it fly, Ronald. His 30 here for the sixth. Acuna gives this a ride to straightaway center field. Step of 40 for Ronald Acuna. It truly is amazing. Look where that pitch is. His back foot, look how it comes off the ground. It's like a Gary Sheffield. Drives that thing on a line over center field, dead center. 39. Got to start hitting some sink. RBI every 4.4 ABs. Olsen, left field, deep. Stretch. Gone! 
There's RBI number 132. He ties the Atlanta Braves single season record in that category, and he furthers his Atlanta single season record with his 53rd home run of the year. That shows you don't have to pull the ball, right? 93 away, and he just drives it left center or left field down the line. Gone. 53rd. Right field well struck off the bat of Ozzy. And gone. Into the front row and right center field. And Atlanta has hit double digits. It's 10 to 1. And Ozzy has a four hit game. And he's driven in four of the 10 himself. I'm telling you what, he has had great swings all night. He has been over every pitch, and to be honest with you, if that ball gets over Manassas' head in the first inning, he's probably got the cycle by now. A triple shy. His foul balls, he's been on time on every pitch. What a beautiful night. So since then, since the start of the 2020 season, it has been a struggle for the lefty. Hammered, left field, gone! Ronald Acuna, another milestone in a truly historic season. 40 home runs. Fifth player ever in baseball history with a 40 40 season. Eight and Barry Bonds back in 96. And this ball may go. Correction this ball will go a long way. Three batters in, three to nothing, Atlanta. Yeah, what a perfect night, huh? Perfect way to start the night. Ronald gets his 40th as he gets on, and Riley absolutely tees off in the left center. But in minus 29. Yeah. Padres are plus 82. Ozuna, hard hit, right center field. Through the teeth of the wind and into the seats. A three run homer, and Atlanta has opened it up. It's nine to four. I tell you right now, that ball was absolutely ripped to get out of here to right center. He was trying to go in, left it right over the middle of the plate, and you can see Marcel absolutely smoked that thing. Oh, kid, kid almost made a beautiful catch, too. Big Bear's pumped. So's the bench. Sean Murphy 0 for 3 today. Sean Murphy hits this hard left center. It's deep, it's back, and it's gone. Braves still have a pulse. Solo homer. Sean Murphy 3 to 2. I tell you, you hope that obviously that we get one more and can come back get this. But from a mental standpoint and from what you need in this lineup, that was huge for him. To be able to turn on a fastball. Oh my God, his bat broke. It did. Did you just see that? I didn't see that live. I didn't either, Jeff. He only had the nub left. Holy. And to hit it that far, that, that's unbelievable.
Kevin Pillar deep to left field. Get out of here, ball. Atlanta has taken the lead with a four run fourth. sudden this offense is coming to lie the second time through the lineup seeing them hanging curveball and Kevin gets all of this one give the Braves back the four th three lead and hopefully that's exactly what Spencer Strider needs Forrest Wall right field and pretty deep it is gone. The first major league home run for Forrest Wall. And it gives Atlanta a 6-3 lead. Well, how about that? Two walks and a bomb down the right field line. Lefty, lefty gets 2-0 pitch. Now three hits for him, all extra base hits. Two doubles and a bomb. Good for him. And they don't have to negotiate. Three one hit deep to left. It is gone and it's a significant homer. It is number 300 on the season for the Atlanta Braves. Atlanta just the third team in baseball history to hit 300 homers in a single season. Well, that's good at bat. Got rewarded for it. Took some good pitches, got into a good hitter's count. Got a pitch he didn't miss. And Assad with a 1 2 pitch that Lau lifts in the air to right field. It's still going. And it's gone. A two run homer for Acuna. And the Braves are in it. Down by a run. Just kept carrying. I wasn't sure if he got enough. Looked like it was at least going to get to the wall, but just kept carrying and going and out of here. Four. So, you know what? Let your team go to work for you. Ozzy puts it in play to right field. Suzuki back. He's at the wall. And it's into the front row of the chop house. Atlanta strikes first, one to nothing. Love it when those four keys come to fruition. About to say, too, unfortunately, your defense can't help you when the ball goes in the <laughs> chop house. No. I ain't going to get you a cold one. Yeah. <laughs> well, home run in the first inning now. And the countdown's on. 302 home runs now. This guy almost made a great play, but give him give him credit. He jumped the wall. Lost his hat. Our guys, nine for or Atlanta, sorry, nine for 17 with five home runs. Ozuna hits it high. He hits it deep. And folks, we are tied in the bottom of the ninth on a big fly from the big bang.
with that total, too. He just tied his career high with 37 homers, and the Braves. Regular lineup anticipating that rest they're going to get after Sunday. Down the right field line. Hooking, but it's fair. A two-run homer just inside the pole for Matt Olson. And he has another piece of the Braves history, folks. On September 16th, he broke the franchise's single-season home run record. And now on September 28th, he overtakes the top spot for runs batted in. What a season for the lefty first baseman. Yeah, hanging breaking ball. And you just were hoping this is going to stay fair. Yeah. And right. just, we've seen it so many times, right? Two quick outs and then boom, boom, you're down. This is hit well to center field. A big fly for the Big Bear. And Atlanta has the lead. What I say, he's been all over the fastball since the first month of the season. You go fastball, don't get it to the top, and Marcel barrels those balls up. He knows it's gone. This ball is not coming back. Stand and admire it. Braves take the lead, I love it. 432 feet into Chattahoochee Falls, and the Braves are now three home runs away from the single season record. For the season, it's a big outing for him. Just his fourth major league start. Marcelo Zuna hits this to right center field. It's still going back. And it's gone. Another big fly for the Big Bear. His second in as many days in Atlanta. As homer number 306 on the season, one behind the record. i tell you this, too. He's a home run and RBI away from having a 40 home run, 100 RBI season himself now. The Big Bear climbs you within one. I think Dennis was Kelly was talking about earlier. I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but the Big Bear deserves to play first base for an inning now. I say more than one inning. Look at that. Stays through the ball beautifully. Not only did it go out, Brandon, it went over our bullpen. Into the first row. Look at him celebrating out there. In Hang it. Finnegan deals. Marcel hits it to run. Get, up. Get going. Yes! Yeah. 307! The Braves tie the all-time single-season home run. The Big Bear with a big fly. Forty and a hundred. And 307. What a year for Marcelo Zuna. And Look at that. Oh, that's awesome. It's his postseason high in strikeouts. That ball's hit well. Darno, deep left. Goodbye. Two run home run. It's a one run game. Rob Thompson on his way out. He'll take the ball from Zach Wheeler.
as Travis Darno with a lightning bolt here in this seventh inning. Darno is one guy in this lineup that uh, has had success against Zach Wheeler, and that one was just a hanging slurp, 111 off the bat, and 414 to left center on something the Braves. Three and two. Here he comes. Riley in the air to left field. On the run, Marsh! There it goes! Austin Riley has given the Braves the lead in the eighth! As clutch as it gets. Austin Riley puts Atlanta up 5-4. Fastballs have beaten him all two games. He tried to trick him and go with that slider 3-2. Riley turns out around left field. That is going to get up and it bounces out. Austin Riley, a solo home run here in the fourth inning. Riley puts the brain.